and yes, we are playing with the Kaiser enabled block cats as well. So we'll see whether or not we're gonna go all the way today, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. Let's actually, you know what? Tell you what. Well, let's just let's just dive into the game for today, shall we? I want to I want to have a fun time with everybody involved. That we're going to have a, a, basically a good thing. By the way, the thing you've been looking at, yeah, that's been in game the entire time. Isn't that amazing or what? Look at that. That's the uh, the planets and the birch world. It is quite an immense structure over here, uh, as it is, of course, a gigastructure. Something that is uh, basically orbiting a supermassive black hole. Now, we'll get to the concept of what a birch world actually is, and then, uh, you know, we're going to take a look at what's going on with that. So, let's just get underway here with the birch world origin there's a lot of stuff going on here and thank you so much for joining us today on this wonderful stream uh, in this evening welcome we are the sphere dwellers we've been living on the birch world for quite some time but it is in fact decaying and that's what we're going to be playing as today it's a brand new origin that has been reworked quite significantly so it's not really all that new but it very much was inspired by the knights of the toxic god it has a long situation on uh, what is you know what's going on there and basically the worldview of our civilization was shattered when we went into space and it turned out that we actually lived on a birch world now a birch world needs a little bit of explanation basically it's a shell around a star a planet or in this particular case a supermassive black hole with layers around it so basically it's uh, it's like an infinite onion that you can expand upon. And it's quite a lot of uh, living space in here. But in this particular case, we are only on a very small part of this here onion. And uh, we need to, you know, go out there and see what there is. So we actually spawn in the galactic core. And basically, we are also open to the galaxy. We can illustrate that as such. So we start off in the galactic core. And on top of that, uh, we are connected to the larger galaxy. We're playing as a bar galaxy this time around. Because... Because uh, I like to have no nice things, so that is at least something. I uh, will have a completely unique archaeological district, which actually spawns on our um, on our birch world, which we can find over here. Special archaeological districts. They are very very cool. They will give us new. Um, they will give us science as well as special. Uh, options within the actual campaign we'll talk about that a little bit more uh, we will have um, we can explore our home world through the situation and the situation takes about two to three hundred years this is a hand not a spaceship uh, in order to complete so 10 stages and they do take quite a lot of time but we can boost that if we want in addition to that um basically we can also repair the the birch world which means that we can also get the birch birch world's districts which are incredibly powerful habitability is set to birch world preference which is uh, basically, on other planets, it's going to be pretty hard to uh, to settle on there, which is why we are also as Megacorp this time around. And on top of that, we got a little bit of a story beat because there is a potentially habitable world called Edge of Eternity, which is a fantastic world, which basically means it is a water world with uh, oceans that are hundreds of kilometers deep. So yeah, we are playing as a Megacorp, basically because of our species. Our species has the birch world preference, which basically means that we have almost zero preference on any other place, which means that we can only really focus on our birch world and use Mega Corp uh, branches to get in touch with the rest of the galaxy. So let's say immediately send our science ship out and they're going to go and do random exploration. Uh, we can't really do all that much in this galactic core because we will need to break out. There's quite a lot of uh, stuff to do here. I know I do not have any uh, UI mods enabled at the moment because a lot of the people that are watching right now um, are my usual population. And uh, we don't really talk about uh, all the... Um, UI mods all that much. But at the moment, uh, we're looking pretty good. Uh, minerals could be a little bit higher, so we'll just uh, build a district of those soon as we can, plus probably a research lab or swap out this commercial zone. But yeah, we are also actually playing as a mega church. Yeah, xenophobic uh, spiritualist is originally going to be my... Um, uh, my Adeptus Mechanicus uh, Empire, but uh, I decided to not go with that. We do have one pop that is currently unemployed, but we do not have the resources to actually do anything with that. And also, this is the situation. We can uh, expand our budget, but basically it will spend some influence, energy credits, and alloys to move this bar along the line. 
where we uh, can find out new stuff from our birch world um going uh having the um spiritualist side of things at the moment especially considering we're fanatic spiritualists probably not the best of ideas because i do want robots but i'm also with, uh, but also very xenophobic which means that i can abduct other aliens so that is very important do i have a mod list this is gigastructural engineering life signs uh i will just go ahead and research all this stuff it's not really all that important we'll just get another science ship up and running but before we know it we will run into a pretty major blocker where uh we cannot do anything anymore so uh society research on a planet always very nice how are we doing here with population growth pretty decent and uh let's take a look here we need some more food most likely we cannot get it just yet but we'll just go ahead and buy some minerals just to keep the ball rolling because that is pretty important and that also let's also get a a, a roamer scientician and let's get that bad boy out there and uh yeah uh, you want to go and get that uh, ocean world colonized pretty quickly yeah that was the that was the idea it has a reasonable amount of uh points for us uh but we don't have the consumer goods or the alloys available at the moment uh we will probably need to sell off some of our food and maybe some of those minerals i'm not really too keen on that i kind of can i already get access to this planet right now no i need a little bit more resources but that is fine we can work on that we will want to colonize uh this particular planet the edge of eternity as fast as possible always want to be cautious with other xenos there's stuff out there we don't know what's going on but we always want to be cautious especially considering we are within the linchpin of the galaxy first choice right now i could go with discovery but i think that would be a bad idea personally I kind of want to go for prosperity this time around just to keep the district costs lower because that is pretty important. System uh, survey complete. All right, we got some surveying going on. That looks pretty decent. So let's get those star bases up and running. Pretty expensive, but nothing that we can handle. We have a lot of energy credits rolling in pretty much all the time. Population growth is pretty decent. When are we going to get the next one? It's going to take a little while before we have our next population boost up and running. I do kind of want to get a research lab in place here. Research labs are quite good and they will boost us along the line quite quickly. But what we could also do is get one of the archaeological research districts, which are also kind of nice. Um, with zero pops available, I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then start getting the standard uh, construction templates because standard construction templates, exceptionally good. Exceptionally good. Uh, yeah, planetary features, as you already mentioned, for uh, the Edge of Eternity are in fact there. We will do, we'll, we will, uh, we'll take a look at that. As you can see, we have a bunch of features here, specifically a frozen wave array, which will give us a bunch of additional bonuses, as well as the oceanic archaeology complex. And basically, that will spawn a special thing later on. We can go and get this right now. Um, edge of eternity. E e E eternity there you go so let's get that bad boy up and running we'll get Publix works as well uh notice how i'm not going discovery this time around because i will be running into a dead end very soon i'm not too keen on having to deal with that just yet the cube interesting among the husks and derelict star uh, starship uh orbiting must haven ccc we have discovered an almost intact alien research vessel yes rotate those squares by the way this is a rubik's cube that has been found by our scientists we're just going to go ahead and prioritize all of that stuff what is the galaxy size uh, i've gone with medium spiral bar spiral bar has Stellaris evolved no this is uh, a mod probably the best mod that is available within the workshop it is of course That's called project, giga structural uh this giga structural engineering it looks like the metal cube has done some stuff. It is going to give one of my researchers uh, a maniacal bonus, which I think is pretty darn decent. Yeah, there we go. We are now maniacal and carefree at the same time. We're going to be able to use that to get psionic, maybe. The core is open. Yes, I am. I know that I am connected. Uh, I am, however, blocked off. Uh, I think that is something that we need to keep in the back of our heads. Uh, just because the core is open doesn't mean that we're not blocked off from the rest of the galaxy by some passive aliens that are floating around. 
Did you name your first system Soul? Yes, I did. Uh, I know that it's a little bit awkward to have system that in the center complete. of the galaxy, but you get the general idea. And these are the blockers that I was talking about. So we got some uh, decrepit watchers sitting just outside on the gateways going into our uh, into our cluster, which are effectively going to block any sort of traffic into our cluster for quite some time. Not the end of the world. We can deal with that. I am fine with that. Uh, in the meantime, though, did I build this? Let's build a research station here. And you, scientician, what do we got? Hieroglyphics. Uh, it looks like I didn't turn off the um, the EHOF or whatever it's called. Uh, not the end of the world. Uh, I kind of want to survey this Anomalous system. And I will send the construction ship over here. Construction complete. Have you done a full run of this origin situation already? No, I have played maybe about 10 minutes of it and up to the very first point. I didn't really get too much time beyond that, uh, as well as the older version of this origin where we did have these blockers. So it's kind of important that we realize that. We will be doing the full story as far as we can go. As far as I understand this, we can go up to 2400 with this, which is quite a lot of territory. Uh, and I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to take a very long time to get there. But uh, we'll do our best and see what we can do there. Alrighty. Whenever I play this start, I usually get to Jenkins continuously throwing themselves at the Guardians until I eventually open up the core for me. LMFAO. Yeah, well. These sort of things happen, of course. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh wait. Wow. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough. Where is all my influence going? I'm only producing 1.5. That's a bit low. Not the end of the world. Uh, consumer goods are running out soon. So that is unfortunate. Get inside is nice. Especially with the six minerals that we got in addition to that. Uh, upkeep from jobs, minus 5%. Also good. Uh, we can infinitely grow, by the way. The amount of pops that we can fit on a birch world. As you can see, planet size is 500. Which means that we can effectively fill infinite pops onto Anomalous this uh, on this thing. How is that awkward, A spec? It isn't it the holy gospel of the sphere dwellers that soul is the center of all things. This is very true. However, soul historically kind of spawns in the Orion arm in the sovereign side of the galaxy rather than the galactic core. Oh yes, baby, please give me those one um, alloys per Systems click. That is the stuff that I live for. Um, let's just do this anomaly over here, and you have already finished that, so we'll just do some automatic construction. And basically, we're blocking everything off right now. So we've already constructed this place, which is good. So we have all of our choke nodes basically in place, aside from this one. Uh, if we can get that up and running, we need 43 influence for that, which is pretty pricey. There's... okay. It's been a year since the official completion of our colony efforts over on Edge of Eternity. And our colonists have been getting more and more familiar... Uh, okay, we're almost... More and more familiar with the ancient Ar arcology complex, which shelters them from the storms and dangerous currents rolling across the planet's surface. Many questions about the huge oceanic structures remain unanswered, and the potential for scientific discovery is a very high. Very high indeed. Which means that we can get ourselves... Arcology side. Yes, Oceanic Arcologies. We're going to be able to research those. And that's going to be really important for our game. Because there's a lot of story to be had here. And uh, we basically got two science ships specifically to get the Arcology sites up and rolling. But also to support our capital, etc. We also have found ourselves some primitives. Uh, continental World. 24 Pops. Not bad, not bad. We can't do anything with them. They got primitive mines, they got primitive power plants, they're currently in the machine age. This is a lot of potential to be swallowed up. Once again, we are, in fact, uh, authoritarian or xenophobic, which means that we can have prisoners with jobs, which would be great for us. Yes. Uh, I would, would want them to be domestic servants, though, because then they increase amenities. That would be very nice. Or chattel. Um, livestock is also an option. But domestic servitude is something that I'm a big fan of. So let's just do that. So we can at least get some amenities. And we don't actually um, have to deal too much with our empire causing problems in the long run. When it comes to uh, controlling our pops. So at least we have that in place. Sublight exploration probes is a very, very standard start of the game event chain. Of which I wish there were more of. Uh, basically, at the start of the game, you could potentially have these events 
and true. basically get some additional stuff out of it. So yeah. What's using up your influence income? I am not entirely sure. I'm only producing 1.5 a month instead of 2.0. Power projection grants up to two influence uh, depending on how many ships you have. So I could crank my naval capacity up and get the uh, stuff that we need, but uh, that's not gonna be on the cards at the moment. Universal transactions would be really cool uh, because we, yeah, let's just go for universal transactions. I know it's a little bit early to go for that, but if we do make first contact, because we will be able to look into these systems over here. Uh, every single time an alien spaceship goes into those systems, we will automatically be able to see them uh, and basically make first contact. So that's really important. We got ourselves uh, a spiritualist faction. Empty shells, they're not really happy with robots, which is unfortunate. We have four pop jobs available on our capital world, and our uh, fantastic planet is doing quite nice as well. I kind of want to put some... Like, it doesn't really matter what kind of districts we put on this planet, because the the sphere, the birch, the birch world, will generate whatever resources we need, basically. Like, there is no, there is no rush with that. Uh, we can generate infinite resources with our birch worlds. And soon, as soon as we have it, it's basically up and running. Uh, check that situation. It's not really all that important. Like, they'll spawn far away in places where we can't really do anything with. So uh, the situation is going to pop up soon. So that's at least something there. Origin, bir origin birch does not grow infinitely. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how far we can go. As a fellow xenophobic, how, disgust, how, how do disgusting aliens taste? Uh, disgusting, I think, is the correct answer. All right. A series of access corridors in a rarely visited section of the arcology have led our archaeologists to a huge blast door, which appears to be uh, to separate a large section of the platform f uh, from the complex at large. This might be some kind of secure data repository or some other sensitive area. The sealed door is a good sign. Yes, sealed doors are definitely a good sign, especially if they've been sealed for God knows how long. Uh, millions of years? Who knows? Who knows? But, uh, you know, these are, the, these are the questions that we ask ourselves by the way i just moved the chat uh to next to gameplay so i can actually uh see what's going on there so he needs the ui overhaul mod to see everything and no i got the scroll bar baby this is, look at that i can see all these districts isn't that just exciting i kind of want to get rid of these commercial zones because like the clerks are really not adding all that much value uh, yeah sure we can get some additional amenities out of this but Alrighty, so we get our next tradition. I am tempted to go with macro engineering because I do want to heavily lean on gigastructures. But uh, I also want to do some mercantile so I can get commercial enterprises for that trade value. These are the questions that I have at the moment. Discovery is not useful to us. Diplomacy, maybe... Harmony it would be good, uh, even if it's just for utopian dream. Harmony is quite nice. Uh, adaptability is kind of good in this particular... Ah, yeah, is resettlement cost. Who cares? Uh, macro engineering. Terraforming speed. Starbase upkeep. Resettlement cost. Starbase. Ascension perks. It's just a megastructure build speed that is really interesting for us. But we're not even at the point yet where, where we're going to be doing uh, megastructures anyway. So we're just going to go with Mercantile. Uh, we are a megacorp after all. So that's pretty pretty important for us to cover. Alrighty. So, Hieroglyphics Part 1. For those of you who are not aware, this is the EHOF. Uh, it's a special side mod that was integrated into King Structures at one point, which is uh, rather cool. Alrighty. Alright, the blast door has been opened and the area will now be mapped out. A huge section of the arcology appears to have been dedicated to some kind of digital archive, but a huge advanced day state of decay evidently throughout the structure may mean that there is nothing left. Alrighty. I, um... I feel that I need to turn off the EHOF for the other empires, so give me one second here. EHOF, oh, uh, I'm not actually allowed to, to change that. All right, that's unfortunate. But I was going to change the EHOF for the fallen em uh, for the other empires here because it is a little bit annoying when they get the EHOF, uh, which is basically just the L cluster on steroids, FYI. 
Okay, did I build... I would like you to move over here and build a star base. Thank you. Using UI mods helps greatly deal with giga structures. Yes, that's very true. Alrighty, so we got our machine fleet over here. That's a little bit weird. Okay, we should be about to tick into the first stage of the situation. And our construction ship is doing its thing, so that's fine. Complete. Good. All right, so we got all this stuff up and running. I think we got we can take control of this place. Uh, I really would like to take control of this place, actually. So let's just actually build a star base over here. And I believe I do control this place, yeah. Okay, so I've taken full control, basically, of the galactic core. So that's good. I, uh, I believe that the default only one empire gets access to the EHF. Yeah, for me, the last time I was doing this, it was the Kaiser who got that. And yes, the Kaiser is active in this game. The first expedition today marks the departure date of our first major exploratory operation to discover a functional transit spire and through, the, uh, and through, through it the origins of our home world. While many, uh, while many attempts have been made in the past to map regions far from our home insula, they may have been compa uh, comparatively small and poorly equipped and found little use in the vast wilderness. Now that we have seen the structure from space and understand its true immensity, it's imperative that our explorers have the equipment and supplies they need for excursions at such an epic scale. Expedition leader Safant 201 has been assigned to spearhead the operation, leading a unique uh, combined land and sea and air force large enough to travel the extreme distances required while maintaining most of their own supply chain. We don't know what we'll find out there, but uh, we can we hope that it can at least shed some light on the true nature of things. Okay. Cool. Also, the question is, Aeterium is still enabled when you do the Birch or Origin? Uh, no, because Aeterium uh, spawns within the Galactic Center. Only Ruins. Expedition Leader Safan 201 reports that our explorers have discovered the remains of a large settlement arranged much like our own around a great support spire, which is unfortunately non-functional. Between the worn-down state of the ruins and many, uh, and many structures appear to have been entirely buried into the silt rains, our archaeologists or archaeologists estimate that the settlement has been abandoned for around 200 years. Separated by space and time, indeed. So maybe these places uh, were up and running already for quite some time, and then we came along. Maybe something happened. Who knows? The report of the ruined settlement discovered by our explorers has arrived, and basically the quarterly expedition head of archaeologists archaeologist the civilization which once lived here was well established had a significant level of industrial in infrastructure and not much is left for us to understand exactly what they were like as no remains have been found all storage media found have been decayed beyond recognition all we can say for certain that they had a different body plan than our own as their tools and fixtures are alien in design Basically, what it boils down to is that there is a mystery and is a long-term study, and we will get a bunch of additional, um, you know, uh, a bunch of additional things. So we can get additional uh, dis districts by res by uh, by default. Get five scrap miner jobs, which are actually kind of important. We can get uh, there. We can repurpose their factories, or we can get uh, artificer jobs, which basically is anything uh, like consumer goods and stuff like that. Technician jobs, which is energy, or farmer jobs, which is food. I want to go for the salvaging of some of the structures so we can get the scrap miner job on certain future. The discovery of an extinct civilization seems to have followed a similar technological trajectory as our own, left us with a sense of uncertainty about our own permanence. Yes, we must double, redouble our efforts. The next expedition will go further, learn more, and be able to repel uh, anything that might threaten their mission. So... Let's get a quick update here. Something, uh, we are not the first to live on the birch world. Other species have lived on the birch world, but because the birch world is complete. so big, uh, it's kind of difficult to figure out what on earth is going on here. We are going to go for Trickle Up Economics. What a great name. And uh, we need some population here. We need some mining districts. So, uh, check the archaeology arch arch site. A room has been found deep within the archive containing a number of seemingly intact records. The layout of the areas around it and the low level of security measures seems that it was no particular import. 
uh, import or importance. More forgotten than specifically preserved. Our archaeologists are decoding the contents. Ooh, we got one minor architect, uh, artifacts. Nice. All right, cool. Hieroglyphics, we will ignore this for now. Cool. All right, so we've taken control of this system. We will set this to automatic construction. So we'll just start, start building up. We are running out of pops again. So what we'll do is uh, we got enough consumer goods. This is Edge of Eternity, isn't it? Yeah. So we could probably just have these pops move around and just move. Uh, but I am also building the mining district here. So the jobs will become available. Hi, this start is crazy. Indeed it is. This is indeed a crazy start. I never started recording this video. That is unfortunate. That means I need to separately download it from that for, as a stream. That is uh, very, very awkward. Oh, well. These things happen sometimes. But yes, Edge of Eternity, a fantastic world. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and change this planetary designation to a mining world. Glad I could catch you live. It's a rare occasion. Indeed it is. Uh, I, I, I try to stream at least once a week these days. Uh, just to, you know, keep keep stuff rolling. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's fun. It's fun uh, when, when that happens. You know, when we do a little bit of streaming here and there. Everybody can get involved. It's a fun time. Uh, I don't want a colony ship. I want a construction ship. Yes, the Katzen Emperor is enabled. And I do hope that they're not going to be able to eat my save file this time around. We've got a archaeological site completely done. All right. Ancient Oceanic Archaeologies. The efforts to piece together unusable data from the remains of the archive have yielded some results. It appears that this particular section was to use SORB schematics for an archaeology or other similar facilities. They are incomplete due to the deterioration of the storage media. However, uh, this limited glimpse into the minds of its architects are sure to be in of incredible value. We could get orbital habitats or use this to do terrestrial sculpting every pop in of on edge of eternity with the birch world preference will gain the oceanic world preference instead arcology reverse engineering modified call a colony development seed plus 50 percent that's crazy archaeological reverse engineering modifier added will give you the following effects orbital habitats so either we go for a bunch of stuff where basically we get uh, the atmospheric filtering. These are all habitability techs. I am kind of tempted to go with orbital habitats. I kind of want to play this as tall as possible. Let's uh, play. Let's play this tall. Let's play this tall. Habitat unlocked. Let's do this. I I kind of want to play tall. Uh, powered exoskeletons and uh, quantum. Ooh, global energy management. Let's go with this and let's get some more science. Acepec, are you doing any videos for the Mod Jam? Yes, I will be doing that. Um, I know the Mod Jam got officially announced last week, but the theme has been officially been announced. The theme for the Mod Jam is... Uh, one moment. Why don't I own this territory? Uh, the theme of the Mod Jam is... Uh, the theme of the Mod Jam is mid-game crises. So within the game, we will be uh, we'll be seeing a lot more mods involving crises, which I think is really really cool. Yeah, we're going to be playing super tall. We're going to be playing super tall here. So we're going to be playing uh, as, as, as a crazy tall, basically. Uh, we're going to uh, focus on the galactic core, basically. We got access here. Uh, I actually just have enough resources to build the habitat, except of course the friggin' influence. But the habitability doesn't really matter all that much. So that's fine. Running any mods? I don't know. Um, does this look like a mod to you? Not entirely sure. Not sure this could be vanilla. No, it's definitely a mod. We've made first contact though. So let's uh, send out one of our envoys and see what we can do here. Why are you not... Uh, I would like you to... Acquisition successful. I would like you to research this here thing excavate the site thank you uh research speed up always um commercial enterprises ring world segments and commercial also yeah unlocks consumer benefits also very very nice so we're actually going to set that up immediately economic palace uh, policy 
uh, trade policy, no marketplace of ideas, and all of that jazz. No yeah, that, it definitely looks vanilla to me, indeed. Ooh, basic strike craft, we will do that. And pop growth speed bonuses. By the way, this is going to be a genetic engineering run. FYI, FYI. It's uh, very important that you are aware of that. We will be going genetic engineering. Cool. Our only governor has be has gotten substance abuser. Fair enough. Fair enough. You do you, fam. Just uh, you know, just don't 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 smoke don't smoke on the job. A clear signal has been found. Okay, cool. But yeah, uh, we unlocked uh, the stuff on Edge of Eternity, uh, which also means I think that we can start removing stuff from the planet. I think. Yes, so there's the habitability plus six. 65 is crazy good. Um, I do want to continue getting mines from this place. Get inside, nobody home. That's just a standard archaeological site from uh, Ancient Relics. Really don't like Ancient Relics in terms of how the archaeological sites are set up, but yeah. Cloning vats, yes. I can do asteroids. Look at this beautiful system. Yes. Uh, these are all potential uh, asteroid platforms. <laughs> uh, mistaken identity. That is not good. My governor has finally died. I guess the substance abuse finally got to him. Ooh, the environmental engineer is kind of nice because it means that we can re remove all of these features for relatively cheap. Yeah, 225. Let's just remove these features here. Like They're not really all that important. Um, but, 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 um, corporate culture site is not that important either. Let's get gene clinics. I usually don't go gene clinics all that much, but I think in this particular case, it's pretty important. I'd save that system for a need of a Lear Hyperforge. Yeah, 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 of course we can, but that goes ar ar around the star. So the need of a Lear goes around the star. That's fine. It doesn't consume everything else. As far as I know, at least. Uh, colony development speed, survey speed, or improved deflectors. They're all pretty garbage at this stage in the game. Because I'm not going to colonize anything. I'm not going to survey anything. Shields it is. Technological acquisition successful. It does clear the planets and asteroids. That is unfortunate. Hieroglyphics. Okay, there's the basic strike craft. We will do the afterburners. We'll probably be able to get some more influence by just finishing up yeah, I, I need to get more influence, really. So let's just try to max this out and just get some more strike craft up and, up and running. All right, there's the strange orange bolt, which is from my favorite system name, the Dubious Abyss. The Gigafort doesn't remove other planets, the need of a Lear does. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's probably my mistake in that case then. Um, I like. I see. I'm su always super confused by the fact that like, the sphere it has a little outline of the supermassive black hole, which is fine. But I always think that's the border. But the border is actually a lot bigger, so it doesn't really translate all that well. Which I always find a little bit amusing. I think I've gotten all the systems that I want, except for the dubious abyss, which is fine. And we're also going to set these bad boys on patrol. How many? How many people do you have on this rock? 53 armies, it's 24 pops. That is 24 pops that we could use to boost our amenities on our capital, which would increase our happiness, which would increase our stability. I think this is a win-win situation. Another substance abuser. Are these, are these, are my people finding something on the birch world that just, you know, resembles cocaine, but it's actually asbestos? Is that what's, if, is, is that what's going on here? Because if it is, that'd be really awkward. Really awkward indeed. How can you see your borders? Uh, by clicking on the... Well, as soon as we... As soon as we made first contact, we will, we will see them. Uh, but yeah, you, you, will, you will see. Let's put it that way. Technological acquisition Get success. inside. It's fine. Dead end. Having arrived in the system, it looks like to be for weeks after the orange bolt. This is the orange bolt. Minor artifacts, issue, uh, study arcane artifacts, abstract physics theory. Oh, this is, yeah, okay. So we basically got initial access to things here. Trade value plus 10%. Always crank up that trade value. 
get as much power as you possibly can. We want to make sure that we get a lot of things. By the way, welcome to everybody who is coming in from the uh, giga structural engineering side of things. Uh, it's, I'm happy to have you here. Uh, you boys and girls and are, uh, are always a joy to, wor uh, to be around. Uh, let's get some more science. Science is always good. There is hostile environmental adaptation from Get Inside. And there is the Gamma Menace. We still don't know what kind of empire we're talking about. But it doesn't really matter because uh, these places are basically going to block things off. So, let's just get these star base. Let's just get these star bases up and running. We want to have a bit of a de defensive perimeter. and see what's going on here. And we'll do the same thing with this one. I know that we're going to be over a little bit by about one point. It's not the end of the world. But yeah. Technological acquisition successful. Alrighty, fusion reactor, again, blue laser is probably the best option we have here. Food subsidies is quite nice. Off-world trading company is quite nice. Um, Unity is currently running in at 40, so we get like a massive chump of Unity, but it's maxed out at 1,000, so let's just do it like this. Maybe we can just push it over on tradition. We got isolationists next door. Okay, that's not good. Fusion missiles, okay. Watch us being like stuck between two fallen empires. Would not be just hilarious. Uh, commercial complete. enterprises so that we can get the merchant leaders. Yeah, there they are, merchants. So we immediately get amenities as well as trade value for that as, uh, in, in, in return for some consumer goods or at least for spending consumer goods in order to get those. Uh, we need to get some districts up and running here. Do we already have the mining stuff? No, we do not. That's unfortunate. Research abilities, always good. Uh, are we still on wealth creation? No, that's not good. Yeah, we need to be on marketplace of ideas. Technological get more unity. Successful. Uh, climate control network. Technological All right, it's time successful. for the first poll of the evening. The primitives. Should I invade them and take them as my prisoners with jobs? Uh, primitives. Uh, uh, how to get them. So the question is going to be invasion or extraction. Poll is in. So let me know. Am I going to go nihilistic acquisition to hoover up all of these pops one by one off of their planet so that they can rebuild themselves slowly over time? Then can I hoover them up again? Because in the end, they are just pops that I can hoover up. And as an infinite source of new uh, prisoners with jobs, they can sit on that planet over here. So yeah, what is it going to be? The poll is up. Uh, as soon as I got 150 votes in then uh, we can uh, basically say that, uh, you know, we end the poll. So either we invade them or we extract them. So these are the questions that we uh, have to ask ourselves in this particular case. Robotic assembly plant is quite good. And I do want robots, but I am fanatic spiritualist. And that is problematic. I should probably not be fanatic spiritualist, I would say. I kind of want to not be fanatic spiritualist. I'd rather be, uh, I'd rather be fanatic of, uh, xenophobic in this particular case. So I'm just gonna go ahead and boost xenophobia uh, within my empire. Set their home up as a thrall world. Good idea. Okay. We've got first contact with an alien species, apparently. A foreign entity has decrypted our community. A sacrificial megachurch, because of course we go megacorp and there is a sacrificial megachurch next door. They are egalitarian, fanatic spiritualists. The star church. And we should definitely expect the worst. Where are they on the map? They are on the northern side of the galaxy. Uh, what the hell is this place? Okay, it's the, the salvagers. For some reason, the salvagers always make first contact with you really early on. What on earth is this? Why would their logo be over here? That makes zero sense. Okay. Uh, they, want an, uh, they want an embassy, which is fine. Which is fine. 
I can I can work with that. Okay. Oh, whoa, 159 votes. Okay, we're we're getting there. All right. Give me give me 40 more votes and then I'll end the poll. 40 more votes and then I'll end the poll. Are we extracting these Xenos or are we invading these Xenos? It's all about these primitives over here. Are we turning these guys into um, you know, servants or are we extracting them? as servants these are the questions that we ask ourselves we do have a limited uh, ability for housing right now not the end of the world we'll just build a housing district anyway because we need those amenities 168 votes only 30 more to go 30 votes more to go until we find out whether or not we uh sure until we find out if we're going to invade or extract okay voidborn is something i really would like uh, because get the church the Holy Federation. That is actually not a bad idea at all. Uh, one vision is pretty nice as well. There is nihilistic acquisition. Okay, I'm going to wait till the vote finishes. I'm going to wait till the vote finishes. We got, need six more votes. It's already looking very strong that, uh, you know. Uh, oh my good lord, their territory is huge. They are also at war with someone. Uh, they are currently being invaded. Uh, this mega churches that is a lot of territory this early on technological that's not that's success. crazy town uh something cheap space combat doctrines there we go okay so the naval capacity is pretty decent right now we're gonna put an admiral on there and it's going to be super cheap because it's logistician and uh it looks like 205 votes we're gonna end the poll invasion has won we are going to be invading uh, this here xeno empire and uh basically we are going to uh, acquire our people in a different way as in we're going to just take the planet probably turn it into a thrall world at some point but the problem is we have super low habitability here which basically means uh, we're going to need to move all of these pops away from this planet. Like, all of them need to go. And uh, that would be it, basically. Uh, in addition to that, it also means that we're not going to go nihilistic acquisition. Technological ascendancy is pretty nice. Executive vigor is quite nice, but I do want to go Voidborn. We do have the influence for it right now. Ooh, let's go for Voidborn in this particular case. I am I am keen on going for a Voidborn built over here. So let's get a habitat up and running. Uh, this is our capital system. No, this is next to our capital system. Look at all these planets. That's a lot of planets. Also, there's a brown dwarf nearby, which means that we can get some really good stuff going on with that. That is basically a mini solar system waiting to happen. Uh, but we're just going to build a... Um, a habitat right around the corner there and uh, just do it like that they want to have a, a science agreement not too sure if that is a good idea or not i think this is an advanced start actually any guys any guides for the giga structure origins with the new mechanics no not yet maybe maybe in the future if i've got the time for it or uh you know the energy to do it because giga structure engineering is does take up a reasonable amount of energy. Let's assist some research. No, we're not doing the arcane artifact for the moment. Because that would require the abstract physics research. Um, gas extraction. Yes, please. Gas extraction. Good. You can make a stellar ring habitat to eat the asteroids and... Really? Really? I did not know that. Stellar ring, okay. I don't have ab uh, I don't have access to that at the moment. These are just kilo structures right now, so not mega structures. But you get the general idea. Uh, I don't want to have I've trade. I want to have hangar bays on these bad boys. Hangar bays are by far the best thing that you can build at the start of the game. Let's build a shipyard on you. There's the second expedition. Okay. So. The time has come to launch our second major expedition into the unknown. Once again, searching for a functional spire to access the lower levels of the structure. That's, of course, the birch world that we are on. We are looking for a way further down the birch. Building upon our previous findings, our explorers will embark from the forward base uh, established among the ruins discovered by the first expedition. Uh, expedition leader Safond R three R O and her team of explorers are ready to take on any challenge which stands before them. Let's go out into the unknown, and whilst we are at it, we will also start to get some armies over here. 
Signs of civilization. The expedition leader Safon R3RO reports that our expedition has picked up radio signals indicative of an industrial society and has sent several camouflage scouts ahead of the main convoy to further investigate. From what we have gleaned so far, it seems to be they seem to be atropoids with a technological level significant uh, significantly behind our own. They have many cities, several of which are uh, built around spires with structures that built partway up the exterior primarily used for launching fixed wing aircraft over long distances there's no indication that they've detected our explorers every effort is to keep it that way okay we found aliens contact we have been spotted well that was quick <laughs> that is very unfortunate <coughs> expedition leader has sent an urgent transmission stating that the atropoid species that the ex expedition was observing has learned of our presence once the primitives uh, an aircraft flew an unusually long distance in their direction, passing within our blackout zone and seeing the main convoy directly. The aircraft managed to escape and send a distress signal. Oh, great. Okay. The Commonwealth of Spires. I am Fatik. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Hockerton, Grand Marshal of the Commonwealth of the Spires. State your business, Outlanders. We wish to peaceful peaceful discussion, but we are prepared to defend ourselves if necessary. Oh, no. We shall, uh, we seek a functional spire. Well, you won't find one of those around here. I'm sorry to say none of the spires we've encountered have responded to any of our attempts to access them have proven impervious to force entry. To have come so far, you seem to have been more capable than us uh, continuing your search. Your apparent level of technology worries me. You appear to have uh, a set of a disadvantage human, question mark. Where does this leave us? We should engage in trade. Uh... We can have them join us. <laughs> Eight pops. <laughs> That's not going to work. I really need to move away from, from xenophobic, apparently. <laughs> uh, we can destroy them. Wow, we got a bunch of resources. Uh, we can uh, get a bunch of resources. Or we can get a trader. I... Ooh recently conquered modifier appears okay uh it's time for another poll so this is uh, all up to you guys um uh, trade or enslave <laughs> okay uh, trade with the, the xenos or enslave this the enslave the xenos so there you go. Poll is up. Let me know what you think. What should we do here? What should we do? Trade with the Xenos or um, take him over, basically. Because those are the options that we have at the moment. Uh, we'll, in the meantime, we'll do a little bit of planetary management whilst we uh, wait for the poll to be done. It is pretty close at the moment. 51 to 49% with 75 votes already done. Uh, let's just upgrade this building whilst we're at it. The enslaving is already, you know, moving in the other direction. <laughs> uh the trader would be long term uh I, I do think the trading would be wise for a long-term deal and then we will get a trade post uh on the sphere or we just you know straight up destroy them we get a whole bunch of resources so these are the questions that we need to fill so yeah the trade is really good later well we'll see what the poll says We'll see what the poll says. We trade or we enslave. I, I, for the guys who want to, you know, get the trading going, we need we need one more percent, basically. One more percent into the trading or enslaving. There's currently 322 people watching. If 200 votes come in, which is 30 votes from now, uh, I'm, I'm under the impression we'll see more interesting stuff if we go down the trading route than just the straight-up destruction route. But I need to see some votes here, guys. There we go. 51 towards trade. 51 towards trade. There you go. 82 votes. We can re-vote, by the way, if you want to. There you go. Okay, 51. We got 10 more votes needed. There we go. 53. This is done. All right, let's end the poll here. Okay, there we go. So, uh, 51, 54% uh, of you voted for trading. So we will engage in trade with these Xenos because it sounds advantageous. So we're going to have to do that. Um, yeah, so we now have a trader with on, on the sphere, which is very nice. 
I don't know where, how it spawns or how it's done here. Uh, Mega structure builder, interesting. Uh, I don't know where it's actually said that it is a thing. The aftermath, following the period of negotiations, a trading partnership has been successfully formed. Uh, archaeological archaeological districts will now give additional society research. We get additional society research. We get the local civilization trade post to the sphere added, as well as a bunch of additional districts. So where is that actually listed? Because I'm not entirely sure where that modifier comes in. A uh, local civilization trade post produces a reasonable amount of resources. It's actually not that bad. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Well done, everybody. Well done. Well voted. So that's at least there. Okay, cool. Construction complete. Alrighty. So our empire is in a good place. I was in the process of getting uh, these pops here liberated, wasn't I? Yes. Construction Let's complete. get some more armies up and running. We currently have 46. Complete. These Xenos at the moment complete. have 50 something pops, 53 are, uh, army pops. And we're going to have to move all of those bad boys over to our capital. We need a little bit of star base capacity just to balance things out. So, yeah. Okay. Let's go for our next one. Discovery is not helpful. Diplomacy is not going to be helpful. Harmony. I do like Harmony a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Unyielding is kind of good, though, as well. Especially in our, in our situation. I'm going to go for Harmony. It is quite fun. And uh, is my habitat up already? No, it is not. We're at 32%. Can I build another one? I need a little bit more stuff here. So that's at least going on. The sphere has got enough pop jobs. Uh, eight, Edge of Eternity does not. We should probably invest into some uh, clearing some, uh, some blockers here and all that stuff. So the massive glacier is going to be gone. We want to have some more districts over here. Uh, check the extra output for archaeological districts. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Produces a shit ton of stuff. Wow, that's seven unity? That's crazy good. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, foreign insular traders. Oh, it, blah, okay, it gives me 40 trade value for the foreign insular traders? That's ridiculous. And the researchers as well. Yeah, that's all very, very nice. That's very, very nice indeed. And there's the scrap miner jobs as well, which will give us additional uh, stuff too. All right, cool. It sounds like that we need to get more uh, archaeological districts. Starholds would be good. I do want to have more research before we do anything else, though. Uh, FTL inhibition, etc. Yeah, 10 trade value per 20 pops is very, very good indeed. Very, very good indeed. Vaults were added, by the way. Uh, if you uh, let's uh, let's get some more people into into the stream. There's there's about 400 of you. Uh, if you're in any Discord servers or anything like that that are st uh, Stellaris orientated, get some people in here. It's always always good to see more people in there. Salvage works. No, I kind of want to get a. There you go. That's the kind of stuff I was talking about. So we got another first contact situation going on here. You guys, I would really... Oh, overwhelming. Okay, I want to improve relationships. We're already cordial. Okay, well, we'll just build a spy network instead. How does that sound? But yeah, slowly but steadily, we're, uh, we're, 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 growing, our, we're growing our empire around the sphere we're now at stage three we've made first contact with another species on set sphere even though we're hilariously xenophobic it's really in this year complete. uh i would like to get some more archaeological districts but uh, this am amenities issue is going to be resolved pretty quickly the crime however is a different problem that i'm not too keen about at the moment and we found ourselves another alien species Let's just get that going. Um, yeah, we don't need to have that spy network at the moment. That's fine. Uh, the greater good, specifically going for Utopian Dream for this stability bonus. 
<laughs> this specific toxoid pop that a specs picked for their image looks so much like the adaptus mechanicus, Mecha mechanicus it's uncanny it's amazing isn't it needs more tentacles definitely but in general it's it's pretty on point um hyperdrive gravimet listening post that's what we were after we definitely want listening post there is the habitat okay cool so let's get this habitat online I'll just give it like the most haven name or whatever. And you said something about building them in a system with a lot of asteroids. Uh, I, again, I do want to get the Nidavellir up and running in here because it is a pulsar, a neutron star even. So I don't want to build anything in there because that's going to cause problems down the line. Ooh, let's then build them in this system if I can. Yeah. I have too many construction ships at the moment anyway, so I'll just disband one and just save the one energy per month. Oh, okay, they're, they're not tentacles, they're mechadendrites. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. I'm also pretty sure they're not too busy every day trying to, you know, bang a bunch of toasters. Uh, we need to get some more consumer goods, really. Yeah. Stability on this planet is a bit meh. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Uh, robot assembly. That's gonna really gonna drive down the the happiness, really. Um we've got enough troops now to actually invade this here world. So we are going to land this army. Like I said before, uh it's not like that uh, there's my patrol fleet. Uh all of these pops, by the way, are going to get moved to another place. Uh I'm I'm not keeping this planet at all. I'm not interested in keeping this planet. Uh, in any way, shape, or form. There's just not much here that I think is going to be useful to us. So we're just moving everything. New data discovered. Our trading partners have contacted us, offering us some newly discovered records. Very interesting. Well, not as detailed as comprehensive of our own logs. Uh, we get a, pl a bonus to our exploration situation. That's really nice. So the situation that we are running is now running a little bit faster than it did before, which is great. Great news. Great news indeed. Let's get these tile blockers out of the way, and I would like to get some stuff going on here. All right, you Xeno scum. We have officially subjugated these primitives. They are immediately super unhappy. It does not matter. Why can I not move you? Why can I not move you, you Xeno scum? Does not have stellar shock, of course. So I, I, I don't have Stellar Shock, so that's problematic immediately. Oh dear, this is going to cause problems, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is this is very problematic. Because um, none of my pops will want to live here. Yeah, I only have like a 20% habitability bonus on this world. The A-class stars. Okay. A-class stars. Which ones are those? I don't even know if I have an A- Oh, there is a, there's an A-class star over here. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's a, like a blue dwarf or something. Yeah, it's just a couple of A-class stars. Nothing too critical. There's a class B star. Uh, you, I would like to start mining this gas. Uh, this is going to be a problem. So let's land all these armies because I'm not available to. Yeah, you were planning to make habitats there. Is that a problem if I want to, you know, do that? Low stability. Well, I've got an army on this planet. What are you going to do about it? I'm just going to build some more armies on this planet in case they do the classic uprising, which they will. They definitely will do an uprising on that planet. Technological yeah, this is why abduction can pay off, I know. Like, Stellar Shock can be really annoying because, you know, it, uh, it does cause some problems. Okay, so we got our first habitat online. We will immediately start building industrial districts. And there's Utopian Dream, probably one of the best things within the game. Hostile aliens discovered, and we are out of consumer goods. That's not good at all. Construction complete. 
So we'll just get that under control. No guarantees the independence of our empire. Alrighty. Thanks. <laughs> uh, let's put some listening posts down uh, so we actually can see what's going on a little bit further into into space here. Uh, we want to be cautious around these Xenos. A hive mind. Interesting. So we've made contact, first contact with a hive mind that are all the way over here. Uh, who probably invaded these traders earlier on. I kind of want to get a federation with them uh, at some point. Uh, they wouldn't be... Well, they actually potentially would be interested. That's actually good. So, yeah, I, I kind of want to get a federation with them. So that's at least something. And, okay, they've turned them into a rival. How strong are these guys? We don't know, so that's, that's a separate problem altogether. Um, you guys, I would like you to do some research on what the hell is going on here. This is just still investigating. The sphere... Uh, complete. yeah, let's get some more labs up and running here. Ooh, a mysterious stone. It looks like we got ourselves a mysterious stone nearby. I wonder what that could be. Construction and there complete. is those aliens that I was talking about earlier. So erudite explorers, always nice to have nearby. So those guys are the Phoenician Star Council. Hello, I would like to uh, establish an embassy, and I would love to get a commercial pact with you. Acquisition successful. Uh, as, soon, as soon as I can send a single ambassador over, I'm going to try to set up a commercial pact with those guys as soon as possible, basically. Um, in 54 days. Okay. Hegemonic despotic empire. That's fine. Technological acquisition successful. We'll send you over. I would like to have a commercial pact with you ASAP. And he should be pretty. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got a commercial pact now, and because we took the universal transactions, it means that we can just place them wherever. Unless, of course, that other friggin' mega church has already gotten something here. Yes, we are the first ones. Excellent. Okay, private research enterprises. And uh, boom, boom, boom. let's go for public relation firms. And that means that we can basically spam just our um, our buildings pretty much anywhere where we want. There's nine pops here, which is not really all that valuable. I really wish there was a better mode for doing this. Because I do think that setting up holdings is a bit of a... It's a very annoying process, let's put it that way. Okay, so they've got a lot of planets already. That is, that's pretty good. Nine pops over here. We'll just keep on expanding. We're just run out of influence, which is fine. But at least we have those branch offices up and running, and it will give us the money that we need uh, to keep afloat, basically. I still have no idea what the hell is going on with the borders, but that is perfectly fine. Pop the motion and leader lifespan, always nice. Leader level cap as well is also quite good. You can cycle through the... Yeah, I know, I know, but it's just annoying. Okay. Research complexes. We did get some gas. Custom AI assistant. We don't have enough unity at the moment. That is a little bit annoying. There we go. Not entirely sure why we're allowed to have custom AI assistants at the moment. It's a bit weird, but yeah. Okay, so we are doing our, our investigation stuff over here. We got the Kareem Consolidated State. So uh, the south of the galaxy, we got good eyeballs on. The north of the galaxy, or at least the galactic north, we don't actually know what's going on over there, which is a little bit awkward. Uh, Stellar Shock is still so far away, 5%. I could put in some precinct houses. All of this population needs to move, be moved over anyway. Um... Yeah, sure. Um, I am. I need to get a prisoner or job complex. I'm currently researching them, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's. It, I know the chorus just has a weird setup when it comes to its um, 
mechanical underside. I would like to get myself some... B -b 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 -bum. Let's build a temple. It's continental world I'm going to deconstruct anyway. I want to get more industrial districts. The birch world needs more needs more work as well. There is the um, there is the uh, <clears throat> this building, which is going to be quite helpful. Excellent. That's the one I was waiting for. Okay, planetary capital also quite nice. Can I build? Yes, I can. And I will do the same thing over here. So that's at least taken care of. Demonetation zone. Yeah, something like that. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let's get some features cleared here because we are rolling in the cash. Except consumer goods for some reason. Let's buy 5,000 of them. We'll just offset some of our issues for quite some time. That's a ruined orbital ring. How unfortunate for them. Uh, you, I would like to successful. set up another holding over here. Okay, we cannot afford it because of the... Yeah, okay, so we cannot afford it. Ramon, thanks for the tip, by the way. That navigation is very, very helpful. It's also not very clear that it exists. Energy is fine. Are you a mod dev and are you going to do a mod jam? No, no, no. Oh, TTF. Oh, TTF. <laughs> TTF would be the person you would need to talk to as well as Ella Winnie. Investor, trade value plus 10%. Always nice. 253 uh, consumer value already been putting in. Australia Storm, $20. Really appreciate all your Stellaris videos teaching the game. For some reason, I still have a very hard time managing my empire and its economies. Thank you for keeping up those videos to date when the new batch of patches come around. You are most most welcome. And most likely I'll do a new series of tutorials when 3.7 comes out. Um, when that is, it's probably in the first quarter of next year. But I'm expecting quite a big change in how the game is going to work. Uh, at least I hope so. But I uh, definitely want to keep you guys updated on what's going on there. But thank you for the $20. It's much appreciated. Uh, in the meantime, uh, regarding the mod jam, as I've already mentioned, uh, the mod jam will be running from December to January, as far as I understand. And the theme is is uh, mid-game crises. So expect a lot of cons and a whole bunch of other stuff to pop up. I do hope that we're going to see things like cults and plagues and all that stuff. All the fun things that are attached to that. So uh, let's see what we can get. Uh, I really like more events mod, for instance, and how they deal with, uh, with uh, inter-empire events and all that stuff. So yeah, I hope that we're going to see more like that. Okay, Ida Menace. Let's just get our soft font attached to that. I do like it, however, that uh, we are the only... We are the gateway between the north and the south. So... Actually, we're not because there is another <laughs> there's another lane over here that goes to the north. That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah. Technological acquisition. What successful. is what is going on over here? Who are you? Okay, planetary capital, terrestrial sculpting. I don't really care. We can upgrade the sphere, which is exactly what we wanted to do anyway. Behold my new original mid-game crisis, the Kaiser. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> uh, the Kaiser is going to spawn sooner rather than later. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. There's another empire over here. There's Chor's Compass. Let's get some Caravaneer coins and uh, let's roll for a reliquary, shall we? We got a sense of pride and accomplishment. The best way to go. <laughs> Unfriggin' fortunate. All right, we got a, a processing facility for pops with jobs. They should start to move around a little bit, I would hope. Yeah, we got we got a we got a lot of pops that are just moving back and forth. They got a lot of amenities. Oh look, it's a revolt! What a surprise! Um, it's just current effects minus ten. So what is going to happen uh, at the end of this situation? There will be a planetary revolt. On this place, we could just dispense some amenities. I don't think it's going to help because our uh, it's already we're already pretty bad when it comes to the overall 
uh, stuff that's going on there. I will just buy more armies to repress this revolt. Because there's nothing I can do. Th these guys will rise up. And that has mostly to do with the issue that is the uh, stellar culture shock. Which will expire in a very, very quick period. Oh boy. 200 days. And then I'm just going to move all those pops over to the... To the sphere where they belong okay research station output pop growth speed plus 10 percent amazing um i will just add some devastation here okay so we've got stellar culture shock finishing off in 200 days there's the eight time menace when is this going to finish 20 months okay that should not be a problem technological acquisition successful more miners. There is the mineral purification plant. The one that I was looking for. Okay. We're f and stellar sculpture shock is done. Let's... Let's move all these pops over because... Oh, there's the revolt. Uh, this is an act of war. Apparently, I'm not allowed. Oh, wait, did they they actually did they take my armies as well? No, it doesn't look like it, but uh that is unfortunate. Let's just upgrade this fleet. I did manage to squeeze out a bunch of additional things here. All right, let's just uh max out this fleet over here, reinforce this because there's no way in no way in hell that uh I'm going to allow this to proceed. I do believe that I managed to move a reasonable amount of pops over. Yes, we do have enough servants to make our lives as easy as possible. And in the meantime, I will take the opportunity to build another archaeological district. The third expedition. The time has come for a third expedition to strike out the unknown in search of a functional spy. We still haven't found one. We have learned much in the decades since we started our mission, and the new developments in propulsion and sensor technology will allow our explorers to go further and see more than ever before. This time, the convoy will be directed by expedition leader Safvant 2E4 and continue out, uh, on from the distance forward base established by the second expedition. Let's see what we can find, and there is the harmonious directives, which will give us additional edict funds, which we will spend immediately. Uh, we're actually not using our edict funds at the moment, which is a little bit awkward. Uh, let's go for veneration of... Uh, let's go for fleet supremacy. Yeah, let, let's do that. We got a little bit more starting experience. Plus 100 starting experience is going to boost uh, our stuff into the stratosphere. Plus we immediately will be able to get an ascension perk as well. Galactic force protection <laughs> become the crisis. Let's not do that. Um, technological ascendancy. It's it, it's really the way to go. Technological acquisition successful. The candidate. The expedition leader, Safond 2E4, reports that our explorers may have finally found a functional transport transit spire. Finally. After several thousand failed attempts, one spire can uh, has shown signs of retaining intact internal systems and might allow our passage to the lower levels. If we were able to supply enough power to it for to properly awaken. Safant 2E4 is waiting our approval, as it can take both a long time and a significant amount of energy credits in order to activate this ancient machine. And we get another situation! Amazing! I love that. That is so cool. Let's supercharge this thing. An upkeep of 1500. That is expensive. <laughs> let's just give you two <laughs> let's just give him two hundred for now. And see what happens. Finish your effect in 23 months. Upkeep of 1500 is ridiculous. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the food is now becoming a problem, which is unfortunate. Is your goal to defeat the, the, the Kaiser or the Blockats too? Uh, I kind of want to go for the Blockats as well. Blockats are fun. And let's establish another branch office over here. Uh, we are a little bit low on consumer goods. I do want to get a virtual entertainment station just to get those consumer goods up and running. And food is now becoming an issue. So we'll just build those. This orbital station also... Um, yeah, it's just standard industrial districts, really. 
Ooh, that's bad. We may have a fanatic purifier on our in our midst. That would be very bad if that was the case. Let's hope that that is not a fanatic purifier, or at least a, a, an exterminator. You may want to save an AP for the system craft. Yes, definitely. But yeah, okay, so the Spire's origin is doing just fine. Uh, overcharge, how, how fast that would that even do? Oh, wow, okay, 100 days. Sure, why not? Let's uh, just uh, sell off all of our gas. Just to, you know, get us across the quote-unquote barrier here. Like, surviving the Spire. A thousand clicks. And... Boop. Immediately we get the Galactic Community whilst we're at it. It's alive! There we go. It's done. Expedition Leader Safond 2E4 reports that after a hefty infusion of energy, the ancient transit spire for the expedition has, dis uh, has discovered has activated... Our hypothesis is that the spires were used not only for support, but also transit between levels has been confirmed. And our explorers will now have access to the layers below our own. Yes. Um, I hope a, uh, a small contingent has been chosen to find out how far we can go. It, it's, it's time to descend. So uh, we have... Oh, okay. Well, first we uh, first we'll join the galactic community. But down there is the realm of machines. Yeah, I'm, I'm invading the primitives. Calm down. I'm just building up a fleet. Don't worry. We'll get to that. Having traveled down for several days, our explorers report that the spire, uh, that the spire transit pod encounter a blockage which prevents further progress. For several days, really, they were able to access only three of the ten layers past two of which appear to be entirely devoid of features, containing only an airless empty space between the shelves. That's a lot of empty space. The third layer was different. Initial reports suggested it was filled with machinery, possible industrial in nature, and has an atmosphere of inert gas, presumably as a thermal transfer medium. Expedition leader Sophon 2E4 suggested we set up a forward base at the foot of the spire in this third level to secure a position and have the site uh, for further exploration. What should be the be the primary goal on the forward base? Communication, uh, in the in, uh, study in in communication infrastructure, adds industrial level outposts, max disk over three additional. Uh -huh. and, okay. Archaeological district with engineering re will produce additional engineering research, physics research, or <laughs> minor artifacts. Hmm. That's crazy. Minor artifacts can be super powerful. But engineering research, though. Salvage anything of interest. Let's go for the engineering research. I think that would be a better choice in, in, in at this point. Technology why am I still at... Mi okay, I was about to say, why am I still at minus 1,000 energy? Okay... Let's take a look here. Coil guns, because we need to get these primitives under control. Let's get some more researchers. Always good. These guys are trying to glow, grow their fleet a little bit, but doesn't matter. Our fleet is getting stronger by the day, and we are about to suppress all these Xenos. Okay, we've got a transport fleet of our other stuff. Uh, we'll just put a, a, a thing on it, and let's take it from there. It's like 0 0.1 per month. Uh, that's that's not really worthwhile, is it? Alrighty, let's go and tell these Xenos how it's done. Or show these Xenos how it's done. 2.6 fleet power is quite reasonable, especially with all these Corvettes. Uh, we've got 40 of them. They have 16. So, yeah, they're, they're not going to... Oh, God, no. Oh, it's just standard robots. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can deal with random standard robots. I'm not too worried about that. The galactic community, all that jazz, that's fine. Let's, we cannot, we cannot do anything because we do not have, um, technological anything useful there. Successful. We don't have enough influence to support for anything. Uh, it's still too expensive to go for advanced habitats. Mining stations, nice. Auto cannon is nice. Fleet command limit, even though we don't need it at all. Alert. 
What are you doing? Something tells me that I have a an archaeological site that I haven't done in, I'm done with yet. Like Burit Necropolis, where is this? Ancient design. Oh no. That's Pelusha. It's pretty far away, but still. Non-aggression pact. Sure. Let's get a non-aggression pact with these guys. Yes, I would love to have a trade agreement with you. Okay, let's take a look. Are these guys going to take the bait? Yes, they are. So that's their fleet basically toast. And that's their station going to be toast. It does will it will have a bunch of missiles on it, but that's not the end of the world. Uh let's just set the fleet stance to aggressive, move them in here. Are we gonna be able to take the station or what? Communications alert. We say we're gonna be able to take this station. There we go. Uh apparently one of my allies decided to join in. Oh yeah. Wait, the, the, the guarantee? Oh, I did not know it works like that. Oh, that's crazy. So, this place revolted against us. We went to war, and they, they basically declared war on us, which then triggered the guarantee, bringing in the other... <laughs> that's, that's a very interesting way of having it done. I did not know it worked like that. That's fascinating. Okay, okay. Um, I think we need to start looking at macro engineering now, though. Uh, terraforming speed, I don't really care about. Upkeep of mega structures is pretty damn important. So let's go for mega mega engineering. So yeah, I did not know it actually worked like that. That is really cool. And now we get taken control of this place anyway. And now we're going to, you know, take control of the planet. And tell you what. Now we're just going to achieve our war goals. Which is to uh, take control of the, of the planet. And then immediately we're just going to resettle everybody to the sphere. Because uh, this planet needs to be destroyed, basically. I don't really care. Uh, there is a small amount of stability issues here, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I would like you to start patrolling, though. So, where's the where the hell did the patrol button go? Oh, there it is. The patrol button is just so weird sometimes. And uh, you guys, uh, we can just put you out down here. In the meantime, more labs, always good. We have some habitability issues on this place, but we got so many amenities here. There's a gigastructural engineering tradition as well, but you can't access it until you've done the megastructural engineering alert. tradition. Uh, unyielding alert. bulwark, etc. Okay. It sounds like I'm going to need to run another mod at some point to uh, increase the amount of uh, APs I can run. Tetradimensional engineering. Yeah, of course. <laughs> because that's a word. Okay, so... Yeah, our our influence growth is really bad. That's really bad indeed. And this low stability I don't really care about. But uh, yeah, we basically just move... Why is this in the frontier sector all of a sudden? How strange. This was a frontier sector for a little while. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Interesting. Not entirely sure what happened there. Probably because of the revolt. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Communications alert. Oh, yes. Let's share some science. Okay. The sphere. Uh, how much... P -p 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 exotic gases is quite nice. I kind of want to set up an exotic gases. It's where is it coming from? From this place, right? So if I build a habitat over here, I can get an exotic gases thing going on, which is actually kind of nice. Okay. 
so uh, we are currently 50 years into the game. We've got Technological acquisition more than enough success. science already. That's good. Uh, we want to get the Research Institute, of course. Actually, why do I want to have research complexes when I've got the pops? I want to get more archaeological districts. Those are the way to go. And I also want to get more industrial districts. We have quite a lot of servants. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not servants can work in the... I don't think the intended... Technological uh, acquisition successful. The intended server, servitude can successful. actually work inside of... Okay, they cannot be specialists. Okay, that's fine. It just means that other pops will just move into those jobs. That's fine. Sometimes I just got to read these things because it's been quite a while that I've used them. Starbase upgrade costs reduced. Yes, please. Uh, blockers removal. District housing. Star fortress. Yes, please. Indentures can work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Our explorers have made a new minor discovery whilst mapping the machine layer. Ooh, 106, 100, like a bunch of alloys. Um, speaking of which, what is my economic style? Acquisition successful. Mixed economy. Okay, that's fine. Uh, gene editing. I am. I do want to go down the genetic engineering path for a variety of reasons. You are going to be generating. I don't care. Science, of course. Always do science with these because they're it's just amazing. Situation log adjusted. There's the galactic whatever. Okay, we got two hundred and eighteen influence now. Excellent. So you guys, your theocratic whatever the hell. I would like to have a commercial pact with you at some point. Uh, who is this purple empire? The Divine Numerian Confederation. Uh, 107. So actually, I, I, I would really want to improve relationships with these guys. Um, what else can I do here in terms of... That's the robots. We don't really care about those. Something servants. These guys are close enough to have a, a Megacorp pact with as well. alert. What did we just vote on? Like, I don't know. Demand subjugation. That's very cute. They want us to be a subsidiary. Um, greetings. Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely want to bump, bump up those alloy numbers because we're playing Giga Structural Engineering. And alloys are king, so what we're going to do here is we are going to set this up as an industrial station. This world, acquisition like, it's got it's got additional pops now. How how joyous! Let's just move this entire planet out of the way. We don't we don't really care about those. Uh, okay, that's good. The decaying birch world needs more foundries. And I need to get the alloy foundries up and running. That's good. Our economy is looking pretty strong. Yeah, they want my birch world. Damn straight they do. It's the most awesome thing in the galaxy. They are superior to us, which is whatever. They're friendly to us, which is great. But we did decline them the, uh, the thing. So. Unspent trade points. Let's do some genetic engineering. Quarrelsome has been removed. And let's apply this template and just get all those delicious resources on that. Terrestrial sculpting, habitability modification, we don't really care about. Xeno diplomacy, eh, hydroponics, farm. Xeno diplomacy is really the only good thing that we have there. Integrated cybernetics. Um, let's go for cruisers. Do the study arcane artifact projects. All right. It's 2,000 days, though. It's the EHOF. I don't really want to do the EHOF, but, you know, for the sake of... Sake of the stream, I will do so. Upkeep for megastructures. Minus 10. Shipyard up and running. Let's give you a... Crew quarters and a research thingy. You upgrade, you upgrade, you upgrade this shipyard. Wait a minute. Why would I want to build shipyards here? This is... This is the primitive place. 
Oh, this is needs, needs to be anchorages. This needs to be anchorages. More than anything else, really. It doesn't require any upkeep? Okay. Uh, the abstract physics theory of research from, you know, 5% physics research is actually kind of nice. This fantastic world can now upgrade. We could ascension tier this. Uh, the ascension tiering on, like, research from, from jobs is actually really good here. Technological acquisition successful. Screw it. Let's just do a ascension tier on the, on the, Communications on the world here. What do you want here? What do I get? Bunk bed deployment? I don't think so. For two pops? Absolutely not. Weather control systems? Always good to get more habitability. Which is always nice. In the meantime, though, how is everybody doing today whilst we're just, you know, getting through the swing of things for uh, today's run? It looks like the uh, the Xenos here have been pushed back. Which means that... Uh, what do you want? Uh, dark matter. Where am I even going to get dark matter from? Like, for realsies. All right. 200 energy stolen by the friggin' caravaneers. Technological acquisition successful. Alrighty. Ah, reverse minor artifacts is one of the best ones in the game. Complete. Survey speed, I don't really care. I know there's dark matter in the dubious abyss. Uh, again, the machine layer discovery gives us a thousand physics research. That is crazy good. You, however, I do want you to upgrade things. Technological and acquisition successful. I didn't get the thing that I wanted. That makes me very sad. Construction on complete. Cool. All right. All that stuff is up and running. They want to have a research agreement. I'm fine with that. Colossal testing facilities. There we go. There's the mega structures I was waiting for. We're going to be unlocking stage four very soon. What the fuck is the sphere? Uh, you mean this thing? You mean the birch world? Yeah, it's awesome. A golden disc strikes the viewport of ISS Researcher 2 and is surveying. Oh no, is this what I think what it is? No? Okay. Uh... Okay, what's this? A minuscule grooves. Oh, I know what it is. This is Situation this is Pioneer, isn't it? Did I just discover Pioneer? I think I did. I would like to get this outpost actually, because I want to make sure that we can. Technological acquisition successful. Really? Okay, there's reverse research, reverse engineering. All right, so what can we do with reverse engineering? The relics. We've got 22 relics right now. Reverse some arcane or technology. Look at that. We just got a bunch of free science. Ain't that just nice? Is it Voyager? I thought it was Pioneer. Construction complete. Because it's the Pioneer plaques, and I'm pretty complete. sure that did, did, I'm not even sure whether or not. Um, I'm not even sure if Voyager has the plaques on them. Our explorers have made a minor discovery. Oh, it's Construction a complete. thousand a thousand minerals. I was watching a, a 1.0 video earlier today, and I was like, wow. I remember when you could, you know, build ships using only minerals. That was a crazy time. Oh, energy nexus. Yes, please. Okay. Resettlement costs, mining station mineral output plus 30%. It's crazy good. Sheesh. We need more food. Or do we have... No, we've already maxed out our research uh, district. So that's already there. we got a war declaration going on here. Successful. How is this this project going? That's It's coming along nicely. The sun. Okay, here's Sol. Apparently. Oh, okay. Well, the soul is a thing in this in this galaxy. What a delight. Um, Off-world trading company is actually quite good. Dark Space mod is awesome. It is. I definitely need to play around with it a little bit more than I have. I do really like the unbidden start that you can get in that mod. It's, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You should definitely try it out. Acquisition successful. Off-world trading company. A system and capital complex, please. 
These features are not really all that important to us. Like, we're just sitting at the core of the galaxy. We're just being, you know, we're just chilling. We're just being, we're just being cool dudes. Doing, no, again, physics. Special Applied abstract physics. Complete. Arcane Rift Manipulator. Our long-lasting study of arcane artifacts has been quite a success. The art is a uh, very property. Okay, so besides being composed of an unknown and so far unexamined material, the construct size and mass shifts over time with an oscillating manner. It varies from uh, 150 meters to <laughs> almost eight kilometers. Okay, yeah, it, it it gets it gets big. Okay, a micro wormhole, eh? It's the EHOF, the Destroyed Event Horizon Offset Facility. We can get wormhole stabilization from the Event Horizon Offset Facility. Six euros from Alex DeVries. I wonder if Aspect knows about the wonders of consecrated constructs before Bug actually decided to nerve it hard. Each priest is plus one mega output. Really? Is that true? I know that the Giga Structural Engineering guys are in the chat here, but is that true? Plus one mega output for each priest? Ship augmentation is completed. I am not aware that that is actually possible or not. Let me know. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, yeah, I'm business from the Electroids. Yes. Sorry, Exican. My apologies. I sometimes uh, mix those two up a little bit because uh, there are so many mods on the workshop. Like, there's literally thousands and uh, thousands. Or, and at least 90% of them are weird anime mods. So uh, we, we, we always want to keep that in mind. So my apologies if I uh, got a mistake in, in there. Iron Trail. Oh, no. Let me finally found out of where the stupid ass probes are. Let's get some stuff going on here. All right. And time for a free Civic, which we cannot afford because we do not have enough influence. Because of research agreements. Okay. Where are those research agreements? You. And you. Uh, I would love to have a... Okay, I already have a... Okay, that's the guys that I have a commercial pack with. You guys, however, I kind of want to break my research agreement with. Because I don't really care about that. I do care about getting a commercial pack with these guys over here. We are currently trying to improve things over here these guys are cordial good 53 okay cool uh you want 53 i would like to buy some favors off of you 500 sure why not have some energy credits shall we uh like how many energy credits would you like Twenty thousand. that's fine maybe some you know exotic gases are you interested in that 500 exotic gases here you go uh twenty-five thousand energy for 10 favors there you go, and then we'll immediately we'll get a commercial pact with you as well. There you go. That's how you play that. That's how you get crazy fast commercial pacts with people. There we go. And we found a toxic candidate. Uh, Solar Storm Ascension perks. Hmm, maybe. I'll try it. Fourth expedition. When the third expedition successfully activated Spire and traveled to the machine lair, we estimated that our explorers had traveled less than 1% of the way to the structure score. They move ten layers. A, that's that's a lot. That's a thousand layers. Since then, new measurements of the effects of gravity and the flow of time on the machine layer have led us to revise our calculations of the structure's density. Based on this data and observations from other galaxies, we now believe that the structure may be built around a supermassive black hole, with the machine layer placed more than thirty percent away uh, of, of the way from the outer surface of its event horizon. This new estimate drastically reframes on how much progress we have made and suggests that we may uh, that it may be possible to reach the core much sooner than we initially expected. The fourth expedition will be headed by expedition leader Safond IB-8 and will focus on finding another spire on the machine layer to capable of taking us to a close a closer tour. So we're still trying to find uh, a way down uh, the the various layer within the spires. These are important things. Again, my governor has died. I don't know why, but it keeps happening. Why do you keep dying, my governors? And I think I am allowed to build. One moment. Ugh, my phone almost fell. Ah, oh, that was a weird sound that came out of my mouth. 
And now my second monitor is turned off. That's not good. There we go. A little bit of an awkward moment there. It happens sometimes. Dormant Manufacturer. Expedition Leader Software IB8 reports that our expedition has encountered a large facility which may be an automated manufacturing facility. It seems remarkably intact compared to the other structures encountered on the journey. Well, yeah, because it's in a space of inert gas. So corrosion is going to be less. Investigate the ancient manufactory. Let's do it. Let's go and find out what's going on here. 16 months. Let's do it. I'm really curious. Embassy of Pro... Ooh, hello there. What's going on with you? Okay, so I believe I have a commercial pact with you guys. Oh, they also have a... Oh, that's not good. Uh, I would really love to have a holding on. I need six more influence. Six months of waiting time. All right, let's get macro engineering up and running. Laser conducting energy distributor. What is this? I have no idea what it is. I'm going to take it. Okay. Let me let me place a friggin branch office on your on your capital like now. Yes. Perfect, thank you. And I would love, I would absolutely love to get a private research and complex on that place. Successful. Good stuff. Alrighty. I don't have any crystals. <laughs> as far as I know. Special I can buy them. Complete. The results of the survey carried out by our explorers are in. The ancient manufacturing complex seems to be intact and intact enough to restore and could be extremely beneficial. Uh, Expedition Leader Sofant IB-8 says that we cannot be sure exactly what could be accomplished yet, but it should be possible with some dedicated effort into understanding the machinery. Start situation. Stoking the fire, the, the flames of industry? Come on, Gigastructure guys. The fires of industry, not the flames of industry. Ah, uh, you gotta go full, you gotta go full Morgan on this one. Add industrial complex to the spire. Plus four districts. Now we're talking. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Hints of something greater. The survey also uncovered something else: the rough layout of the information networks running through the structure. With this information, we can greatly focus our efforts, aiming for areas likely to contain important nodes on this network. The search of space is still huge, but we have a map of sorts. Cool. This is where Aspect releases a horde of killer robots on the galaxy. Let's hope not. That would be really awkward. Industrial level and in ancient industrial outposts. That's great stuff. I would like to get more archaeological sites. You want a trade? I don't want a trade. I don't want a research agreement with you. I am more interested in getting a friggin' holding. Did I already build a holding? No, I already did. Okay, that's good. Uh, a holding on that planet. And my leader has died because, of course, they have. Uh, sure, one of you, and let's get some science going. Hyper entertainment forms. Uh, ooh, site to revive. I never built the stupid bio centers, did I? And now it's 69, hey, funny number, uh, years into the game, which means that, you know, we can't do anything with that. Uh, reform government, I could do it if I had the, uh, the influence to do so. So we're just going to go ahead and ignore that that is a thing. Choose an approach. Alloy foundry or goods foundry. Well, alloy foundry, obviously. This is, of course, gigastructural engineering. We need all the alloys that we can get. It costs unity? Really? Since when? You are entirely right. It does cost unity to do these. Oh my god, it always used to cost influence. I've, look, I've been playing this game for over seven years now, and it was influence for the longest time. Ugh. It's it's annoying. Gospel of the masses would be cool. Franchising. I don't have any uh, catalytic recyclers. Ascensionists. Yes. Ascensionists is awesome. Planetary ascension effects plus 25%. Planetary ascension costs minus 10%. Tradition costs from empire size money 25%. Ascensionists is perfect for the tall empire. Technological Ascensionist is success. awesome. It's one of the best things they added to the game. Another thing that they recently changed is uh, if you click on influence, it will go to your claims instead of going to your uh, in, in your edict screen, which is really friggin' annoying. Let's get some capacity stuff here. Uh, some veneration of the saints. 
Establish embassy, yes please. Civilian fabbers, station output, and all that jazz. Alrighty, the sphere is actually, the, the pops on the sphere are growing quite rapidly. 5.85 a month is crazy fast. Uh, and I cannot build any more archaeological districts at the moment, which is unfortunate, which means we are going to increase the research complexes. And can I upgrade the sphere ascension level? Let's ask that question. No. All right, manufactory approach finalized. We have researched the point of no return in our restoration of the ancient manufactory. Theta Z, A spec. Yes, what's up? Get more AP. Get a more AP slot mod. I, I will. This is not the first. This is not the last time we're going to be playing this. By the way, uh, we've now reached the point of no return on the restoration of our ancient manufactory complex. Past this point, further alterations to our plans would ruin our chances of repairing the machinery. As we still don't understand how to replicate some of the materials and components it would require. Once completed, we'll be able to produce a large amount of advanced alloys. Yes. You can get negative empire size. Acquisition so that would be pretty amusing. Uh, habitability plus 5%. I don't really care about successful. it. Uh, Synergy Forum gene crops. What is the mid-game year set to? I don't know. I think it is 2300. Technological acquisition successful. Laser conduction energy distributed. I still have no idea what this does. Um... Photonic matter, shield boost, negative pressure. I think these are stuff for armor and all that stuff. Are you still considering forming a federation? Yeah, I may as well. Like, are these guys still, are we still super friends? Like, I, I would like to be, a, like, they're only at minus 17. Like, let's, let's just improve relationships with these guys. And yeah, let's let's do a federation and then go for all oh, a spiritualist technological acquisition. <laughs> a spiritualist federation with more ascension bonuses, buddy. Or going places. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take this empire to the moon. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Pan galactic recycling initiatives. I don't think so. We're almost at the next stage. Alloy Foundry is coming online soon, which is great. Do not for uh, the Northwest. That's where the funny Kaiser man is. Is he though? Like I know that Palouche was over here, but I didn't see anything else. Um, we are we going to bypass? Like it's only one. Like it's it's terraforming. Like who cares? Like we'll fill that one in later, and we don't need an AP at the moment. What we do need, however, is diplomacy for the Federation. Yes, and I also love, absolutely love, to get some trade favors with you. Yes, I would like to give you some of my exotic gases, maybe some of my energy whilst we're at it. There we go. How many? How much energy would this cost me, sir? 15,000? Oh no, not 15,000 energy. Jubilo and Jupiter between the Red and Purple Empires? Is it there? I don't know, that's not good. It does mean that I'm going to need to uh, reinforce my northern approach. Now let's upgrade this stuff. Okay, so they have agreed, which is nice. Uh, let's get the anti-gravity engineering stuff. Uh, you. We need more alloys, which is fine, uh, because we need to get the macro engineering station online just for the uh, for the resources that we can get out of it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not, not the ancient forge. What's this? Cool. Um, I'm not. I'm not too not too worried about that myself. Like, if the Kaiser wakes up, then the Kaiser wakes up. That's not the end of the world. Uh, a little gap with one like there's a logical oh here jupiter what the guys why is there a gigantic class t dwarf over here oh well it's fine it's fine nothing 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 bad is going to happen 
Like, what's the worst that can happen? The factorium is complete. The, pr the project is restore or restore the ancient manufacturing complex on the machine level has been successfully been completed. The facility is already beginning to stir ancient manufacturing, roaring to action for the first time in centuries. Wouldn't this be mill millennia, if not even longer? Eons? Can I suggest eons over here? This should increase uh, our manufacturing uh, throughput quite significantly. Several new jobs have been added to the ancient industrial complex feature on the, sp on the sphere. Concludes the stoking the flames of fires as industry. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, what sort of features were added here? Kitsuma Insula manager job and eight metallurgists. Dang, Sung. Uh, yeah, I would like to have more metallurgists. That's crazy good. That is so good. Uh, it will mean that I will need excessive amounts of minerals. Uh, my servants are moving into those into those jobs. That is not too good. We do need more minerals then. Home level discovery. Minerals. Always nice. I need to get this macro engineering facility up and running though. The insula manager job. Okay, let's take a look at the insula manager job. So I'm guessing that's part of this insula manager job. What does it do? Planetary build speed plus twenty. Cons consumer goods from artificers plus one. Min oh my lord, this is powerful as hell. Wow, that's crazy good. It it's pretty expensive to run, but still. Plus that planetary, yeah, 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 Eloini, you're hilarious. That's amazing. But that is that is crazy good. That is that is the stuff that I am always looking forward to. Naval cap up, in case the uh, our good friend shows up. A, I, that's distant stars. I don't really care about that at the moment. Auto cannon, uh, gun goes brut. Okay, we are 2275. The game is running a bit slow, but that's to be expected. I've got a science ship over here that will send out doing its own thing. I want the macro engineering facility. Technological Let's do it like this. Construction complete. Next month, most likely. There we go. Okay, so we'll just build. We can't build it in our capital. So we'll just build it over here. Um... Let's just build it around this uh, this world over here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this this is supposed to turn this this yeah this brown dwarf is going to be ignited and turn all these planets and stuff where possible. Technological acquisition successful. Endgame lag is so bad now, fam. I have the orbital Elysium. Give me the orbital Elysium alert. Uh, orbital Elysium disables building. I mean, Orbital Elysium is kind of fun. Like, you can do a lot of cool stuff with that. Alrighty, Federation. Let's get the Federation here. So we want to get a Federation with the Mega Church. Federation. Holy Covenant. Oh, we're going to get a Holy Covenant. It's amazing. Uh, the Holy... Uh, sphere. Uh, divine sphere. Uh, covenant. There we go. Let's start a federation. Oh, what a great day. Oh, we immediately get first contact with Zero Corp. <laughs> and then exchange. Oh, the curator order. Oh, delightful. Sages of the Shroud. What is our fate? Yeah, we will pay for that. <laughs> okay. There's the artisans. That's great. Good. Okay. Excellent. We are now in a federation. We'll sign an envoy immediately. Cool. All right. So the experience will increase, but the to, to, just to put things to perspective, the Holy Covenant, the the the, the religious federation, is so good because we can get planetary ascension costs being reduced here, right? Uh, voting strength and divinity of life. Who cares? But it there's just so many great bonuses here, like planetary ascension effects plus twenty percent on level three. It's just 
so good. Like, the amount of firepower that we can get out of this is just insa insanity. Absolute insanity. This... All too lucid. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It's all too lucid. I really dislike all too lucid. The laser conduction oh, energy distributor. I have no idea what it does, and I'm kind of afraid to ask. Um, Situation more log adjusted. Uh, Leviathan. Uh, it's here to test our faiths, clearly. Uh, the divine... Um, yeah, I will have some more spiritualists join our federation. That's fine. Yeah, definitely. Where are you guys? Are you guys... On what side of the galaxy are you? Actually, I don't want to have you in the federation at all. Because <laughs> that's where the... That's where the Kaiser is. Planetary alert. Walker expired. All right, so what are we going to do here? Uh, we are going to talk with the artisans. Why the artisans? Because they can give us an art piece. The art piece is amazing. We only have three places at the moment, which is fine. It's a deal. We also would like them to become our patrons so we can get more unity. Uh, and then immediately what we're going to do here is just exhibit a, a monument. We'll exhibit a monument over here and on Most Haven as well. Festival of Worlds, no, I don't like Festival of Worlds because they will steal everything that is not bolted to the ground. Can we get more? No, we cannot. Okay, so, like, the upkeep is pretty high. Basic energy credits from technicians, technician jobs plus three. Like, what is my income here? One? Is this... Ah, screw it. We'll build it. We'll build it for the fun factor of it. You're building the macro engineering testing facility. That's exactly what we needed. Regulatory facilitation. Sure, why not? That gives us more diplo away from economy. Orbital Elysium is a really weird thing to play around with, but actually kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to build it, though, um, because there's a whole origin attached to it. Yeah, I know we get a science bonus from the archivists. We should probably talk to them. I don't think we have anything at the moment. Ooh, the Ecumenical Council. Our envoy in the Federation is nonsense. Uh, lately, members of the clergy have been pushing for the Divine Sphere Convention to hold a council where we could gather and try to outline a unified dogma to define the core tenets of our, of our belief. Yeah, sure, why not? The curator buff. Again, I don't have the energy for it at the moment, I think, to get the curators. We can talk to them, though. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, it's only 3,000. That's fine. We can afford that. Non-standard space entity encountered. Uh, there was also some talk about a Leviathan being around here somewhere. Uh, what do we got? Spectre. Really? Uh, sure. I'll, I will apologize. Also, I just realized that we have 200 influence, which means a spec themed event chain title goes, oh, no event. <laughs> I know, right? Like sometimes, sometimes these things happen. Mining success. station. Like why am I keeping on getting mining station output? If you're a wide empire, that's the kind of thing that you want. But we want planetary output to increase. Uh, crime to be reduced by 15% is always good. Uh, pops. Amenities are still low here. Interesting. There's always already an A-spec uh, attacular uh, achievement. Is there now? Edge of Eternity. Only, oh, Edge of Eternity has all too, all too lucid. Oh, that's not the end of the world. Okay, that's fine. Let's get some more minerals, though. Send lavish gifts. 3,000. Well, we've got enough consumer goods. We will send lavish gifts. 3,000. A research agreement. I am good. Thank you. I would like to... Good. For 20 years, 20% 20 additional unity and jobs. Okay, that's great. But we can get a lot more stuff here. So, I... 
no, I don't have a thing with you guys. I have a thing with. Am I stupid? Where is this? Where is this branch office? What empire are you with? No, it is with you. Okay, so I would like to open some more branch offices, but we do not have enough energy. <laughs> Because, <laughs> of course, we do not have enough energy. I would like to have some more ooh, corporate assembly. That's kind of nice. But always go for the science or the mercenary liaison office. Science, please. Thank you. Acepec, do you think you could do a role-playing run of the Necroid survival mod with other YouTubers? I could. You're talking about the wave-based one, right? Sounds like Orbital Elysium is perfect thing for a prisoner with jobs planet. Actually, not a bad idea. The Thaw Menace. Okay. Well, I don't really care about the Thaw Menace at the moment. What I do care about is growth within my federation. Because I want to get this to level 3 as fast as possible. Okay, federation's good. We can get our next AP next, so that's nice. And then we're not going to spend any resources on APs anymore. Technological acquisition successful. Okay. Oh, ba 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 bum. Wormhole travel. Is there a wormhole nearby? Apparently there is. Okay. Auxiliary fire control. Researchers. Always more researchers. Robotic modding. Always more science. Advanced strike crafts. Actually, kind of nice. Sign of the locust is going to finish soon. Alert. Non-standard space entity encounter. Uh, yeah, we'll donate. That's fine. And let's do a festival across worlds. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, Acepec, do you have any mod collection I can try? No, but uh, for December, I will build one for you. Um, consider it my Christmas gift to you or something along those lines. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of really cool mods out there that you should try, including this one. Um, but yeah. Non -standard space one vision. Let's go for one vision. We don't need, uh, we don't need, uh, we don't need Ecumenopole because we have the Birch World, so that's already taken care of, so that's fine. There's the Macro Engineering Station. Let's get that online. Oh, we got a, we got an, uh, we got a thing. 101 alloys a month. That is not nearly enough. We need to be in the thousands of alloys. We also... There's Orbital Elysium. What can you offer us? What do you want? Do you have three additional pops? Yeah, hell yeah. I'll take three additional pops. Uh, they are rackets, though. And they've immediately been put into domestic servitude. Uh, no, you are... You are. You can have residents. Like, you are... I'm also going to put you on social welfare. Because rackets are awesome. They do need a little bit of, you know... Uh, genetic engineering going on here but they get psionic which makes them off awesome by default um natural engineers let's do that and then just apply the template and then we Situation will log. just run them through the cloning cloning cycle whilst we can i want to do a tech rush build including ge what origins should i suggest uh tech rush is very much the or the the planetary computer origin uh of this mod uh for any other one uh for any of the base mods uh in base origins anything robot related really anything robots relating is always very very good Technological acquisition Anybody successful. know if ACOT has been Genetic updated? See, this is the thing. I I never really had a thing with ACOT, like, at all. Um, I it, Whether or not I just haven't played it enough. Man, manufacturing or... Uh, workers have restored the ancient manufacturing complex. They're reporting that they are meeting quotas ahead of time, as are some of the machinery. It appears to have been adapting to our production schedules independently. Manufacturing surplus modifier for three years. Consumer goods from artificers plus 20 percent which is weird considering um we we set that up as a alloy producing facility so that's strange we need a habitation district over here did i not build a yeah, there we go special project complete yeah square world is awesome there's perchance dream 
situation log. Uh, let's just get this out of the way. Solar coordinates. Uh, that's the sun. Technological acquisition. Uh, target from orbit. Where is this? Very far away. Not really within our Special boathouse. Complete. Yes. Wake up call. Unity from drops. 200, 200%? Dang. That is a lot of... 2,000% unity from jobs. It would be nice if I had any sort of unity on this planet. But we'll build some... Build, we'll, you tell you what. Well, for the roleplay purposes, we are going to fulfill Edge of Eternity full with temples because anybody approaching the glory of the sphere as part of our covenant will need to go to the holy world of Edge of Eternity, uh, which is also a fantastic world, uh, before they can do anything. So they have to go to all the temples on all the bells and whistles that are attached to that. Let's get alloy nano plants. Did you get a shroud treacher? Yes, I did. We can switch to militarized economy with that bonus. Can we though? Can we? Like I don't really like what is our what is our outgoings here produced? I mean it's a hundred. So it's like what it's a uh, twenty percent no, we can't. We can't switch yet. We need a few more consumer goods a month in order to pull that off. I need I need mega engineering for the birch world. Okay, well then, alert. as soon as the as soon as we can go for battleships, we'll do it. There it is. Hope you're happy. Military readiness act. Sure, why not? Uh, let's do it like this. They will want us to do more stuff with our fleet soon. So let's just reinforce our fleet while we can. And uh, let's just get Danton cooperation. I must go now. May the sphere be with you against the Kaiser. The covenant, divine sphere covenant or covetant. <laughs> uh, that is that is humorous. Uh, covenant. Uh, it will uh, will stand supreme. Thank you for Elowini. Give Elowini a big uh, high five on the way out. He's one of the most awesome people uh, uh, I've, I've I've had the pleasure of, of working with over the last few years, and uh, you know having having him as part of this gigastructural engineering journey has been a lot of fun. So yeah. All righty, what do we got? Get battleships. We're getting we're getting that. Macro engineering testing station has been built. Excellent. Let's build another one. Two and a half thousand. Technological acquisition successful. Two and a half thousand alloys to do so. Technological acquisition we'll just, successful. We'll just we'll just get two and a half thousand alloys. Is not the end of the world. There you go. Let's just throw away some stuff here uh, this is going to be pretty expensive the fifth expedition since the conclusion of the fourth expedition significant profit progress have been made in the interpretation of the network map that we have discovered multiple uh multiple candidate sites for the important nodes have been plotted and this new expedition will travel to the nearest expedition leader Sofan b05 will lead our explorers with the prospective location and determine whether or not our predictive models are correct We still don't know what we, what form these nodes will take, or even if they have a physical presence and we, if we can reasonably interact with them. But confirming our suspicions are correct is worth the expenditure. Let's see what the structure is up to. Uh, our technolo technological growth is getting very nice and quick at the moment. Sure, we're not at a thousand yet, and we're at the year 80, 85. It's a little bit slower than expected, but, you know, ooh, deep space black site. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Give me that additional stability. That's the Alert. good stuff right there. Standard space entity encountered. Expedition leader Sofan B05 reports that our expedition has reached the approximate area of the predicted network node and has encountered an unusual looking structure built into the main trunk of one of the machine's level spires. The spire itself seems to be responsive, so accessing the strange structure shouldn't be an issue, but our explorers are proceeding with caution. That's probably a wise idea. Inside the usual spire, our explorers found what appears to be some kind of control center, but they have uh, they have been so far been unable to determine what it actually does. Expedition leader Safan B05 suggests we do not attempt to interfere with this equipment without a better level of understanding as another candidate site or both more. Oh, we cannot do anything until we got mega engineering. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. 
that is perfectly understandable. We don't we don't necessarily want to mess with things that we do not understand, of course. So that's fine. But there will be other sites. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to build a research lab. Uh, you should probably finish the thing that you just built. No, that's a dismantle button. Uh, Giga Structural Engineering has a dismantle functionality, which is pretty brutal, I would say. Uh, this place is... Uh, let's just crank it out with uh, alloy and civilian industries. Yeah. Can I upgrade it yet? Upgrade habitat, yes. Technological acquisition successful. Battleship. Good. Uh, module engineering, I think, is a gateway to mega engineering, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Do you like playing the ACOT mods? Uh, I, I I want to, but they're just very... There's just a lot of going on in ACOT. And I don't think the gating is done very well in it. New data discovered. What do we got? Inspired Explorers modifier for three years. Exploration situation modifier increased by 25%. Can you reduce the situation funding until it can progress again? Yes, we can just nuke it from orbit if we want to. No problem whatsoever. Technological acquisition successful. Starbase building costs, robo modding, planetary build speed, always nice. Industrial centers, yes. Amenities are starting to become a problem, which is unfortunate, but I do want to get cloning bays as soon as possible. Citadel zero point reactors, yeah. Technological acquisition success. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, research speed plus 5%. Yes. Technological acquisition successful. I'm pretty sure we have citadels now, actually. Uh, we're we're just racing through these right now because of the uh, engineering facility that we just built. Uh, let's get diplomatic networking. Gives us additional unity from envoys, which is nice. Uh, comet sighted, happiness plus five. Why am I not allowed to do this? Because I don't have enough. Okay, the science. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna upgrade. I wanna do more stuff with the ascension tier stuff because I have not actually messed around with ascensions at all. Oh, influence minus fifty percent. That's where that is going. <laughs> New federation perks have been unlocked. Good. Uh, spread the holy word. That's good. Planetary capitals will now provide additional culture workers, which is also good. And envoys assigned to the Federation will now provide 50% more cohesion, which is so good. Cohesion is so important. Technological uh, let's do yes, some Federation law. Let's purchase that service. The Federation level has unlocked. Succession type is fine as well. I don't really care about the Federation itself as long as it levels and we can get those Ascension perks. Um, or at least those planetary Ascensions. Uh, this game uses way too many words called Ascension in different features. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, Orbital Elysium. No. I need more alloys. More alloys required. Acquisition successful. Our consumer good production is a little bit bad at the moment. Let me get some... Uh, Habitat World. No, let's get this. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, yeah, more research. Ship augmentations completed. Oh, no. There he is, the Emperor. Uh, I have also too many farmers, you're completely right. So those should be industrial. Let's actually get another mining district here. So, new news have reached that the Cotsons, a species from Jubileo system, has recently, uh, recently achieved FTL. Where primitives acquiring FTL is usually a little concern, Due to how far behind they are, this species seems to have invested extremely heavily into their weapon and technology prior to inventing hyperdrive. The Kaiser Moon. There he is, everybody. Duclaw MacArthur. 
amazing. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, the Kaiser is a thing. We'll we'll, di we'll delve into the Kaiser a little bit more. Yeah. Why does he sponsor early? He normally sponsor twenty three hundred uh, because I've changed the mid game crisis setup. Okay, so more mining districts are coming in. Like I said, food, we, we've got more than enough food anyway. Oh, look, a space storm. A lot of the light. Technological acquisition successful. But yeah, uh, right now we are kind of bottlenecking on our minerals because of the sheer amount that uh, under the ice. Technological acquisition oh, successful. What's this? Wrecked attack moon. Oh my god, it's not just an attack moon. It's a disco attack moon. The best kind of attack moon. Um, because the um, the emperor has just shown up, um, I'm just going to make a safety save. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are also uh, here and are new to the ch uh, new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. By the way, uh, we're doing content like this pretty frequently. Mm -hmm. Let's do another festival across our worlds. Like, what's the worst that could happen? It's not safe scumming. It's just more a case of complete. allegiance war. Oh, okay. With whom? Unanimous vote. The Kareem Consolidated States. Okay. How big are they? I don't know where they are. They're oh, they're overwhelming to us. I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm. I'm not going to allow that. <laughs> Technological acquisition successful. Fractured felines. Situation log adjusted. That means that uh, the felines are on the row on the on the go. Let's get some more temples if we can. We don't have a lot of minerals down. Communications alert. Uh, excuse me. Acquisition successful. Where are you guys? And why are you? Oh, okay. You're you're all you're fine. You can join in. That's fine. Uh, I did not, I did not, oh they're, oh, they're subjugated, okay, that's fine, okay, that's, that's fine, we can deal with that, subjugation, etc, trust gap and trust success. growth, always good, transit hub and drive, let's go for something cheap here, like, I don't know, AI controlled ships, etc, Oh no, the Divine Emirian Confederation cedes territory to the Kaiser. Oh no. Well, oh, you're protective to me. How delightful. Thank you very much. It's very, very, very nice. Can I uh, build some more stuff here? I would like a corporate embassy. Actually, no, I do not want to have a corporate embassy. I want a virtual entertainment studio. Yes. Uh, you've got 45 pops on this world. I would like to get some science. We've got 41 pops on this world. Uh, I need some more minerals. Let's just do it like that. Because branch offices are the best thing in this game when it comes to getting crazy amounts of resources. And uh, we should basically be drowning in in embassies. Technological acquisition successful. Fractured felines. Uh, we can only do fractured felines if we have contact here. Uh, we can set a diplomatic achete to get some ships. Who is the Kaiser? What is your species like? What is Flusion? All that stuff. Uh, I don't want to get war with him. Uh, a diplomatic society recent in unity output. I kind of want to send a diplomatic achete because I don't want to piss off the Kaiser. I mean, it's not great. Sure, let's do it. But, uh... Uh, yeah. Let's just make first contact with uh, the various Kaiser-related stuff. Buy the ships, they're good. Okay. Well, if I had the money... <laughs> It's uh, kind of a big deal, you know, if I, if I don't have any money. I kind of want to appease the Kaiser as much as possible. Uh, Katzenwelt Raumpanzer. Okay, really? A foreign entity has That's what the ships are called, a Katzenwelt Raumpanzer? Okay, 
Are these the ridiculous looking tanks with... Uh, I need something cheap. Uh, UV guns. Oh yeah, they're all inside the black hole because of course they are. Okay, 2.4k. What do they look like? Really? Really? And das ist die, das ist die Katzenweltraum Panzer. Oh, natürlich, das ist Katzenklasse. Super, super. Okay, dann kannst du jetzt wieder zu Hause gehen. Danke. 2.5k on that, though, is perfectly fine. We'll just upgrade all this stuff because we know guns. We established contact with the Ecclesian Order, which is all part of the Katzen menu. We'll contribute to their cause. Here we go. We'll, we'll give them a bunch of alloys and energy a month. So they can slowly what going to do this. Eloini, why are you like this, indeed? Why are you like this, Eloini? Why do you have to be like this? Technological acquisition. GC complex would be nice. <laughs> Moin. <laughs> For those of you who are not aware, Moin is uh, is like a greeting in northern Germany. Yeah, so we can upgrade it. Uh, yes. We would like to upgrade the sphere. Special project complete. Okay, there's the Fluzio Arcology. Oh god, all of this all of this stuff. Um I want to get I need to get uh, zero point power, and I first obviously need to get zero. There's Citadel. Yeah, corporate culture site. Yeah, there it is. Entity uh. has decrypted our communications. Alien megastructure orbital. Uh, you got a you got an artificial orbital ecosystem already. Jeez, I want to I want to get an artificial orbital ecosystem. They're awesome. Let me get that uh, science through the roof. We have a lot of uh, alloys now, actually. I kind of want to build another uh, macro engineering testing station because, uh, for those of you who are not aware, um, the joy of engineering research is awesome. Why is the wor birch world decaying? Well, it is decaying because it's it was unused for quite some time, and now we are here. So, yeah. Upgrading this. What's the upkeep cost? It's fine. Okay. Hollow temples, yes. Capital building upgrades. Eternity is upgrading again. So we're going to put yet another temple on there. Start shoveling for uh, money into the partisans. Yeah, I know. Kaiser's opinion has increased. Oh my god, that is so good. He's friendly. That is amazing. Uh, I would like to talk to the freedom fighters. Thank you. So let's manage some resources here. Have some resources, thank you. Have some more resources. Have some more resources. There you go. So now we can basically say, okay, what are you going to be doing here? It's only 65% chance, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that. That's fine. And then we'll talk to these guys. We're already contributing to their cause. 150, 50 a month. I don't really want to do that. Okay, cool. Is this origin working now? Or do you have early access? It is out. You can play with this. The raid has failed. That was to be expected. Let's see if we can do it again. Uh, we need to wait like a couple of months before we can do it again. But yeah. Technological acquisition successful. Antimatter reactor. There is the ultra energetic particle collider. There we go. The stellar particle accelerator is awesome. And we need more of them. Successful. More science, please. Citadel online. Good. Synthetic crystal plant. Yeah, I know that's how you. I, I know that I know how we do it. That's fine. It's more a case of I want to be a bit careful because I don't want to piss off the emperor, if at all possible. Because the last time I did this, the emperor got super upset with me and then decided to declare war. 
uh, wariness is uh, is a problem. Reassure the Kaiser, and also my influence is a bit meh, so I don't want to, you know, do too many annoying things here. What I do want to do, however, is ascension tier this place, and ascension tier this place as I can. Oh, there's the deployment of the Unterraum, uh, the Unterraum board spacecraft. Great. Might want to get a Ministry of Production. Yeah. Yeah, a Ministry of Production would probably be a good idea. I don't have enough... Um, the problem is I don't have enough moats or any sort of moat production to begin with. The Divine Numerian Confederation has recently accepted demand to be... Uh, to transfer some of their systems to the Katzens. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's unfortunate. The Katzen Hotzen... The Katzen Hotzen Imperium... Is growing. They are. Uh, he's friendly with us, so that's good. Let's talk uh, to the to the freedom fighters, shall we? There we go. What can we raid a warehouse now? Let's do it. I really want to raid. Get a warehouse under control. There we go. Raid was successful. That's excellent. Let's give him some uh, some influence, and let's do an operation over here. It's all to make sure that the emperor is uh, is happy. Buying ship cuts and uh, accelerates. Re re yeah, it does. Uh, Ministry of Culture. Space entity I don't really want to buy Ministry of Culture because that takes up building slots, and building slots is something I just don't have the money for at the moment, like at all. So we're just gonna go ahead and ignore that for the moment. How is the Federation going? Like we are on our way to level three. Level three is the one that we really want. That's where all the good stuff happens. So population growth is a bit, eh. but it's nothing that we can really do at the moment. Alert. I return. The Kaiser has appeared. Yes, Elowini, well done. Alert. Space entity encounter. Alrighty, consecrated world archaeology project. I don't. None of these are really all that great for our current situation. Although engineered evolution, there it is. Actually, yeah, we're we're, we're gonna go for. All right, no, sorry. This needs to be. Sorry, I need to do a load here because I skipped way too far ahead there. Um, ninety five eleven. Yeah, let's do. Let's quickly do an auto save here because this, of course, needs to be a poll. How could I ignore my wonderful viewers and just say, oh yeah, of course, we're going to go uh, engineered evolution just like that. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. We are, I'm going to involve you guys into the stream as it should be, which uh, ascension, and I'm going to add an option, and that's going to be mm, biological robots. or uh psionic or finally i don't think i can become since but i actually i'm just gonna leave since uh for a tick box i'm not gonna go since because that would cause problems with my current game but yeah uh i really want to go by uh, uh engineering by the way biological engineering so uh let's get those let's get those uh votes in with the poll it's important stuff. I really want to, you know, have that stuff in there. Psionic currently leading at 41 with biological at 28%. I'm very proud of this community uh, that you get all this stuff uh, in, in place. Uh, let's just go for a second here. And let's do a operation that's way too dangerous. 110% is the kind of operation that I really like. Bio is best. A bio is best. Bio, biological ascension is these days is the most powerful one because because of a couple of traits that have been added. Biological engineering is is insanely good these days. But we only have a hundred votes in, so we're not going to vote in just yet. So let me know what you think and uh, what we should go for. Once we hit uh, two hundred and fifty votes, we currently have three hundred and forty-one viewers. That's right. If we hit two hundred and fifty votes, then the uh, the final decision will be made. Just be aware of that. 
Uh, oh, we can go to tier three. Technological yes. acquisition successful. So tier three on that ultra energetic uh, particle collider. Uh, yes, I do want to get myself an ultra energetic particle collider. Robots get busted on Birch World, yeah, which is exactly why I don't want to go for them, and that's why also they're the lowest at the moment. Tick box, ten percent, the way to go. Well done, everybody that went for tick box. It's an excellent choice for excellent people. Do pop robots still have a pop assembly bonus? Yes, but so does genetic engineering because of the cloning vats. Uh. And with Gigas, we can grow biological leviathans. Indeed. So that is all the good stuff. Artillery framework. Ruined macro engineering testing facility. Speaking of which, there is a macro engineering testing facility. So, uh, yeah, let's get there. A zero point energy, which will lead us to mega engineering. Let's get this macro engineer, second macro engineering facility online. There's a war going on. We will ignore this for the moment. Let's take a look at what's going on over there. Um, sure, why not? Okay, so we can manage the. Yeah, I don't really want to manage that. Um, a hundred and ten percent chance for it to be successful. Let's have a quick chat with our good friend. He's friendly with us. That is excellent. Good. Operations are successful. Space entity encountered. All of our planets are doing well. The Birch World is doing excellent. We're just waiting for the event right now. We got 158 votes. Most of it's biological. Second is psionic. With robots coming in together with Tickbox in the third and fourth place. So, yeah. We shall see. We shall see who comes out on top here. Cyto revitalization centers. I guess are nice, but I'd rather have maximized production. Let's get a, where are you? Ministry of Production. I, it's the friggin' moats. And the Numerians have just ceded more territory. As long as it's not their capital, I'm fine. The Manufactorium is now generating even more research, which is crazy good. Speed reduction region for Cuxon, okay. Let's take a look. Which one is that? It's the shields, kinetics, morale, alloy from flusion, uh, bombardment, weapon damage. It's in this intelligence center. What's this? Ship speed. Mm -hmm. I need more. I need more bonuses for the for this place in order to pull that one off and then i can do it so 79 percent it's not the greatest but we can do it and we got habitat worlds uh we can get torpedoes now operation was successful that's excellent so we'll have a quick chat with the emperor uh, he's still friendly with us so let's get to the freedom fighters yeah I'll say so the ships the, the the ship speed has been reduced and the cuts in arc imperium is constructing an ehof Situation log adjusted. Wariness reduces operation success chance. Okay, that's that's good to know. Thank you. Uh, we got 177 votes out of 325 people uh, watching. Uh, if I can get 23 more votes, then we'll make a final decision. I really want this deal, FYI. It is, in fact, very good. And I really want this service... Uh, to the point where I will sell off. How much energy do I need? 3k? Because uh, I want the science, basically. I have more envoys, by the way. I did not realize that. Let's get that bad boy assigned. Do I have a list of mods I'm using? Uh, it's all gigastructural engineering. It's all gigastructural engineering. Technological acquisition success. Have I read about the lore? Yes, I have read the wiki. Thank you uh, for, thank you, Elowini, for making that possible. There is a uh, gigastructural engineering uh, wiki uh, that is out there that you can check out, uh, and it's uh, kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous indeed. In the meantime, though, um, 194 needs six more votes. Kaiser's opinion has increased to us by, by one, so we're less likely to go to war. What's this? Target overwhelming. I mean, that's a hive mind. 
Tar target. What, what, what do you even want? I, I'm not going to go to war with you. Just, you know, coax him into, like, a war state or something like that. All right, 201 votes. We are going down the biological route. Well done, everybody. We are going to go down the biological ascension engineered evolution. It is... And now we immediately will uh, get access to the gene seed purification. The next step will be cloning vats. The Carcinotic Imperium is now at war with the uh, uh, these guys. It will be an overwhelming attack. But then they will get crushed. Yes, indeed. It's an overwhelming attack against the naval disguise. I don't want to go to war. Like It's not really something I'm particularly interested in at the moment at this moment in time and besides we're, we're too much focused on the birch world we're about to hit the the next state here acquisition successful why is this going so slow why is it why is it paused why is exploring our ancient home pause standard space entity encountered is it because of Oh, the mega engineering technology. God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the next stage, obviously. That is super annoying. Uh, we need to go with super cheap technologies in this case, then. Yeah, I know, I know. I went over that in a while, but uh, I, I didn't I didn't realize it. Uh, biological engineering and genetics. Yes, please. Now we can get my favorite building in the game the cloning vats where are you did i already unlock them straight away oh, there we go cloning vats are awesome uh they do have crazy food requirements for some reason but cloning alert. vats are awesome because it will basically just fix our entire economy this is exactly what i'm going for everybody wants to have embassies with me it's our Allegiance war, like with whom? I don't even know where these guys are. Okay, are they at the south in the galaxy? Sure, why not? Okay, we're gonna go to war apparently. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll agree with for an embassy. Like embassies are basically free of charge. Like that's fine. Uh, exotic rail stations. Alert! Non-standard space entity encountered. Okay. And we are at war with these guys down here, uh, which will be automatically joining our Federation. And as they join the Federation, they will slowly but steadily turn into spiritualists, because that's how that works. Uh, we have some trait points that we can spend. Okay. Okay. Incubators? I mean... Ooh... Incubators is nice, but I do like intelligent. Let's just do intelligent. Nah, let's just do intelligence. That's yeah. the way of the future. Situation log adjusted. There we go. So yeah, now we're just waiting for mega engineering. Right now, we we are getting uh, pretty crazy with the mega engineering side because of the engineering testing facility, as he says. So that's good, and we want to get the stellar acceleration site up and running as soon as we can food is a bit of a problem as you can see that is unfortunate nothing that we cannot really get around at the moment but we'll just build some additional stuff here because all the food we can just offset because we got a cloning vats now so the, the assembly is actually going to go quite rapidly at this point cool you and that means that we're getting all those pop jobs open anyway. Cool. Genetic parameters have been altered. What we want is the advanced and en uh, genetic engineering traits sent in the Panzer. Uh, yeah, of course. I completely forgot about the fact that I have, in fact, the Panzer fleet. The Weltraum Panzer Force. Uh, let's put some cautious guys on there. Oh, wow. Okay. My apologies for the burp there. That was not very cash money of me. Um... Can I even get that? Like, everybody's got hyper relays except me. I think this is a little bit awkward. Like, I cannot build hyper relays. But I can build a stellar particle accelerator. Which is a... That's... 
What type class? This is a type A. This is a type B star. Yeah, we're just built a stellar particle accelerator around that. So there we go. Hyperdrive three, decayed particle extraction, and where are you? We don't have it, so we need to cycle something cheap. You should colonize orbital habitat on the world with them psionic species in your empire record. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Uh, as soon as I've got more alloys, I will do so. Communications alert. Technological right now I'm a little bit successful. focused on other things. Save the B-star for scaling megas. Really? Successful. Well, it's... Don't build them on the B-star. Well, you... <laughs> You told me to not build them on the A star. Jeez, come on, guys! You told me not to build them on the on the on the A star, and then all of a sudden the B star comes out of nowhere, saying, "Well, you shouldn't build it there." Come on! Uh, now I have to dismantle it. Alert! Non-standard space entity encountered. I don't even know where my fleet is at this point, because of the absolute mess that we got going on here. What's this? Twenty-eight hundred. That's fine. We'll just. Attack these guys. That's the worst that could happen. Technological acquisition successful. Hostile fleet. Oh yeah, I'm gonna lose my fleet here. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Alert. That was to be expected. Oh well. Don't worry, I can just buy some new ones from the Emperor, uh from the Kaiser even. Wait, what? Where? Okay, the Kaiser is obviously over here. Oh my God, the Kaiser is getting a little bit, little bit too big for his breaches. I would like to buy some ships and give me some more Leakatsu bomber. Well, one for ten thousand, ten thousand energy for a bomber. Really, it's fine. These other aliens can deal with it. Again, a really bad roll. I need to cycle. Alert. Uh, association status with whom? To the Hemegeny of Prakur. Are they on my side of the galaxy? Let's ask that question. Hegemony of Prakur. Hegemony of Prakur. Uh, no, uh, not happening. Absolutely not. They are on the other. They are over here. Uh, I do not want them on my side of the, uh, I'm, I'm in the Federation because as soon as I do, uh, the Kaiser is going to come and it's going to cause problems. And I'm already making some problems because I got the Star oh, Church over here who are also in this Federation, which is going to cause problems. So I do not want them to be in this Federation with us. We're almost at level three, though, so that's good. That's very good. Five ships for zero. Non-standard space entity encountered. I uh, just joining. What's going on? Well, you know, we're playing a little bit of gigastructural engineering, specifically the decaying of birch worlds. Wow! Look at all these ships that are here for some reason. Um. Okay. Situation log adjusted. Executing evasion protocol. Cool, I guess. I guess these guys want to die. Uh, we need to talk about this uh, here uprising. They need some more resources. And these guys also need some more resources. There we go. And then we can deploy some more missions using one resource here. That will be successful, I would guess. Alert. Non standard space entity encounter. Successful as expected. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, can remove beneficial traits. Clone vats will uh, produce additional pops a month. That's good. Communication. Do you have zero point? Yes, I know. I need zero point power. It, it's. I already have it. Okay, there it is. There it is. There is meg. There is mega structural engineering. So I continue exploring our ancient home. Alert. 
By the way, I will be uh, spooling down the stream in about 15 minutes from now. Maybe continue on tomorrow again. Who knows? Complete. Three hours for the day is enough. If By the way, if you're feeling entertained below the stream, uh, below the stream there is a dollar sign. If you want to you know, support the stream and uh, want to know a little bit more about what's going on in the uh, in the aspect world feel free to you know send me a couple bucks you know it's uh entertainment's always good but it needs to come from somewhere and uh, it allows me to continue doing these streams because they are a lot of fun but of course uh you know it's either this or i'm going outside to a pub or something like that who knows regardless any sort of additional support is Appreciate it. We want a fleet. No, I don't want a fleet cap enemy. I want a deep space black site, which is the best building in the game. Non-standard space entity encountered. Technological acquisition success. No. Can I just set a default of, you know, this empire will never join the Federation because I will block it every single time? Like, that would be really nice. Uh, I don't want a research agreement. Starbase capacity increase, I guess, is nice. So I can build some more stations. Like, we have fortresses across the board. Like, they're... It's going to be pretty... Pretty challenging to do anything against our empire. So. Non-standard space entity encountered. There's a bunch of war stuff going on over here that not, doesn't really bother me all that much. But uh, yeah, the uh, the cuts in are increasing uh, rather rapidly at the moment, and that is very worrying. I do would like to see a uprising at some point. Um, can we do it here already? Yeah, let's do. Let's play it safe. There's the particle accelerator. Let's get that rolling. Let's do that couple more. Now the guys will make his funny one million doom stack. I hope not. That would really be bad. There we go. Let's get that up and running. And there is the upgrade. Cool. Now we can. Uh, now we get additional bonuses from planetary ascension, which, for the birch world, is pretty darn crazy. No, I do not want you to join the damn federation. So our output on the on the birch world is now going to go completely nuts, and we will do this. Um, let's not upgrade this just yet. All right, I want more temples. Construction really. complete. Or mining, actually. Yeah, mining is probably a little bit more higher priority at the moment. Construction complete. There we go. Yeah, the we are now bordering the emperor. Uh, he's elated with us, so that's at least something. So uh, the Emperor will hopefully not declare war on us, but they will most likely declare war on any of our Federation members, which would be highly unfortunate. Uh, you can go home, and you can go home as well. Ever seen the Cuts fall on Empire? If you cripple his fleets, uh, the Partisans, you can just go around the giant fleet. Maybe. Like, we are trying to... You know, contributes to their lifestyle and their cause. Let's just increase this a little bit. I don't know exactly what it does, but I'm sure it's good. Uh, yes, let's do another mission. Operation successful. Good. So we are one month away from Mega Engine. There we go. There is the one thing that I wanted. A new lead. New developments in structural engineering have given context to the control room that our uh, expedition encountered some time ago. And it's now clear that the unknown data that we could have not understand was related to a distribution of resources within the structure systems. Armed with this new insight, we now believe that we have to uh, yeah, no, Situation log decode adjusted. the protocol. Let's, let's do it. Let's Alert. see what comes out of it. Space entity encountered. It's the next step. Oh, orbital ring world ecology. Yes. Alert. Non-standard space entity encounter. All right. Um, mod species reduced. Rem Alert. Add detrimental traits. Non-standard space entity encounter. Uh, yeah. We want to finish this, obviously, because when we finish it, we uh, get 
the tetra uh, transgenesis technologies transgenesis technologies are really good like crazy good all right the birch worlds non-standard space entity like we need we really need more districts of this type really i also need more mining districts over here like this place is just feeding us with Like our biggest bottleneck right now is just simply the, the 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 influence game, really. Oh yeah, definitely. Just give some more territory to, to the Kaiser. What's the worst that could happen? Hopefully, we'll finish the exhibition before things exhibition next exhibition stage because you'll need to see the outcome. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I will finish the. Oh. The Kaiser demands territory. Um, what, which one does he want? Jalen? Anaxador? Rixim? And Ampol... What? Ampol Deer. So basically these ones. Alright, cool. Uh, here's the question. Uh, start a poll. Um, let the... Yeah, we can tell him to piss off. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll 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 get him to piss off. He's just I think we're I think the Kaiser is happy enough with us. He's very friendly. Come on, he doesn't care. Uh, having the Ashete there was was probably a good good idea. Yeah. So that's fine. I'm just not gonna. So if you keep buying ships from him, we should maintain it. Uh, low federation centralization is fine by me. So the decoding node protocols. Acquisition successful. The Kaiser is immediately impressed by our work. Very nice. Well done, everybody. I like, we've got a large fleet right on our capital anyway. So, also our branch offices seems to seem to be. This war is, does not seem to be going very well at the moment. Um, Project complete. Why is the Katzen to our galactic south? I am I am very confused. Anyway, the network unveiled. A great web extends out before us. A constellation of a hundred billion tiny stars, joined together by a fine thread of data. Nearly all are dimmed, with only a few scattered points flickering. Hold out against the darkness. This is the structure's digital essence. It's true shape and it's beautiful and it is dying. Our local nodes are somewhat intact and limping along with a low power state, unable to properly organize themselves without the guiding hand of the network at large. It has fallen in such a state of disrepair that the whole structure is slowly decaying. The energy required to save it are far beyond anything we could provide, but we could just uh, but if we could tap the source, bring the structure's heart back to life we might be able to coax it into saving itself. In the meantime, the trickling of power available to us should be more than enough to restart some of, some of the automated systems in the node closest to our home. Okay. So apparently our home world is dying, so that's not good. Um, the Kaiser has decided to pop up on the other side of the galaxy. Uh, consumer goods are a little bit low, and we're trying to figure out what is going on going on here. Despite the gravity of the situation, today is a day to celebrate, as the first step has been taken in establishing our custodianship of the structure, now understanding the basics of how it works and what we must do to fix it, at least in the abstract. Frustratingly, these discoveries have done nothing to explain our own part in the structure's study to history. The control center interfaces were so adaptive to the presence of our explorers that we cannot tell if their creators were even remotely similar to us. Regardless, the automated systems that we've brought back online in our homeland have revolutionized all levels of our operations, greatly expanding our abilities. Whoa! Would you like some more districts? Yes, please. That is a lot of additional districts that we just unlocked. And that basically means that uh, in combination with cloning vats, 
we are a very very good uh, in a very good place here the kaiser on the other hand is causing problems alert non-standard space entity encountered and we should slowly but steadily start uh, undermining a little bit more the kaiser has gone the war again like sooner or rather than later it's just going to be the the galaxy and the kaiser like that's all there is going to be at this at this rate which is concerning uh, can the Kaiser die and collapse and all these other empires are just, you know, uh, distribute themselves again? Or is it just, uh, welcome to the galaxy, this is the Kaiser? Uh, job scale 50%. What does that even do? What does that job scale do 50%? Where is that even listed? Uh, job scale 50%. I am not sure what that even means. Maximum districts plus five. We get a bunch of additional districts, etc. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I am blind. Job scaling effects. Increase the base production and upkeep of many job categories based on a magnitude of job scale modifiers. We get a lot more jobs. Uh, upkeep is being reduced and increased in a bunch of departments. That is a big list of stuff. Telepaths increase as well. Culture workers increase as well. That's a lot of stuff that is going on here. I'm not going to read all of it. <laughs> Job upkeep. Upkeep from jobs plus 23%. Upkeep from resource production. Yeah. And the operation was greatly successful. Okay, everybody gets... Everything gets base production upkeep. Yeah, that makes sense. Alrighty. Can I already blow up the dams? No. No, I cannot. I'm not going to touch this one. No, I'm going to start another operation over here. Alert. Non standard space entity encountered. Excellent. Well, the, the, the Emperor is really you know done some problem we'll give him association status whatever so armor missiles reactive armor i don't want to have a research agreement with you and now you guys are at war like could you guys just you know finish up this war scenario all knowing to reach 150 technologies i am amazing all righty edict levels Like a population growth is, is going pretty strong here, so that's good. Uh, we definitely should be building more. There you go. Resistance has increased. Uh, we definitely should be building more habitats just to get success. like a flow of orbital rings. I mean, uh, just a flow of population going. Like that's to me is like a really big deal. There's the cell particle accelerator. Excellent. I want to get more habitats because habitats are awesome. Habitats are cool. And basically to grow my population. Yeah, the EHOF is online for the Katzen. Have you ever tried Frame Worlds? Yes, and I got a really cool video about it. You should probably watch it. And we need some more minerals. Always. Uh, yeah, the Frame Worlds is really cool, actually. Non-standard space entity. Okay, genetic resequencing is here. There's orbital ring. Uh, Alert, space entity encountered. Okay, is this war going to finish anytime soon or what? It's the Kareem Consolidated Worlds, right? Yeah. Let's just upgrade this here. Fleets. Let's get some battleships in there. Space entity encountered. There we go. Uh, sure. Yeah, frame world was really fun, especially when you have uh, nihilistic acquisition, because it just gets completely out of control. I, then you're not getting these. You're not getting these systems. I've told you this already. 
And he's very friendly with us, so it, it doesn't really matter what we do because, uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to sell you any of my systems. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Get more everything. Yeah, no kidding. Successful. Yeah, driven assimilator on uh, on frame worlds are hilarious. Definitely, and it's one of those one of those things that I really enjoy playing. It's a lot of fun. Non-standard space entity encountered. There was a video on that some time ago. It's like six, seven months ago, I think. That's how long it was. Technological acquisition successful. Okay. So it is eleven o'clock. It is currently stage six. It is going to take how long to get to the next point? Uh, Non-standard space entity encounter. One hundred and sixty-eight months. Acquisition successful. That is a long time. That's just over ten years. So twenty-three, twenty-two. We end up in the next stage. So this is what I'm wondering at the moment. Should I continue at some other time? And continue playing with, of course, the the Birch World, etc. Yeah. I will probably... Yeah, I'm probably going to break off for today because it, it is already pretty late. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm actually then I'm going to, you know, pause the uh, pause the uh, thing for now. And I want to thank you all for joining here today in the stream. It's been a lot of fun. Um the Birch World uh the decaying Birch World uh origin is part of Gigastructural Engineering. I highly recommend for you to go and pick it up. Just go onto the uh the Steam Workshop and go to Gigastructures. Uh, there's also the, the Gigastructures Discord. They got like 10,000 people on there, like a lot of people. So feel free to go ahead out there as well. It's a good good time. And of course, the developers of Gigastructures that were here today because you guys are awesome. You've done some great work. Um, we did Orbital Elysium the other day, or like 10 days ago now. And uh, Birch World today, obviously, is, is really cool. Really, really fun to go through all of this with all these modifiers. I'm really looking forward to see where this is going to go. In the meantime, though, if you want to support the the channel and you want to support the stream, feel free to subscribe or uh, send a super chat to the to the stream. You do that by the, clicking on the little dollar sign below the stream. If you're familiar with things like Twitch and stuff like that, it's basically the same idea. It's just like sending tokens and stuff like that. Like it supports the stream. And it means I can walk across the street to the petrol station and get myself a cup of coffee because that's apparently what I have to do on, the, on Sundays when the damn bakeries are not open until after one in the afternoon and the operation was just successful thank you all so much for joining in today it's been a lot of fun and i'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the stream with the here today where is the planet where are you Ed edge of eternity let's fly over to you and make that the end of the stream give me one second then i will set this up we were live for three hours with zero drop frames there we go isn't that just a magnificent sight right there i think it is well there we go thank you all so much for watching today and i will see you on the next time when we continue onwards with giga structural engineering i'm just gonna make a save here uh stream and and we will leave it at that until next time take a care care of yourselves and as always each other